Hello, hi, welcome in everyone. Happy Wednesday, no, Thursday. Wow, uh, yes, we missed Wednesday because yesterday I had an errands day. I had to take care of a lot of things since I was not on for our regular stream, but welcome into a Thursday stream, everyone. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, let's see, we had Craven waiting in here. We had Zordon, Bonch, 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 Dot, Parrot, Bosmas, Shmelila. Um, Jin, Common, Tarkus, and Juan. Hello, welcome in everyone. Nice to have you. Thank you so much as well for putting points towards Bad Movie Night. How close are we? How close are we to meeting Bad Movie Night for April? Surprise, Sydney. <laughs> what do you think of the delivery of that one, Sprats? Thank you for the eight months. Welcome back. Um, let's see, where are we channel points wise? 67% with three days left. Do you think we can do it? I think it's possible. Group effort, everyone just puts 2,000 points in and then we make it. Like a clutch. A clutch bad movie night for April. I don't know. <laughs> you love it? That's good. Hi, son. Hope your adulting went well. Um, a little too well. It was very exhausting. I got home and I was like, oh my god, I'm so done. I'm so done doing adulting and just wanted to like lay down. I think I immediately fell asleep. Like it was it was a really long day. Um by the time I got back home, it was like 10 something PM. Had some groceries, I put them all in the fridge, and then I laid in bed and I like proceeded to pass out. <laughs> I am doing okay despite how busy I am or have been um excited to play some games today felt weird not to be streaming yesterday we feeling okay harlow how you feeling how you doing what about you sprouts i gotta see fall fantasy 7 evan children let's say is my personal reward for uh, finishing rebirth no way come what would you think do you enjoy the game do you enjoy the experience well I think it was definitely longer than a nap because that, that went on for a few hours. I even woke up this morning like feeling really exhausted. Like it's just one of those nights you go to bed and you still wake up tired. You loved it? Okay, cool. I'm I'm so stoked to hopefully finally get around to rebirth, but I think we still have much of this playthrough left to go before we're even ready for rebirth. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Um, we haven't had a chance to do so earlier this week because Tuesday I had a slightly shorter stream, but we're finally playing Final Fantasy VII OG um, this week. It's day seven of our playthrough. Day seven. Yeah, this game is, is gonna be pretty big. We're, I think, only in disc one. I don't even know how much of disc one we have left to go. Right with my streams. Sprouts is so good to have you. Um, Staying up too late playing music when I should be sleeping. Hey, that's fine. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta be doing that for yourself. I completely can relate to that sometimes. I've been there, done it. You know, it's like, I should be asleep, but nah. Um, But I do hope you do eventually get some rest. <clears throat> well, there's a few things here I want to close off in the backdrop. But yeah, my, my week's been busy. How about yours? Um, I'm looking forward to the weekend. I feel like this week did kind of pass by very quickly. Um, like, I appreciate how fast it went. Um, but at the same time, it's like, wow, where did it all go? <laughs> you got Avent Children on sale. It cost you like $5. So did we buy like a physical disc common? What are you most excited about getting into this game for Final Fantasy VII? I don't know, like for me, everything that I haven't experienced before is exciting. Like today we have some questions about like Nibelheim because we arrived in Nibelheim, which was supposedly meant to be destroyed many years ago by a fire caused by <clears throat> Sephiroth, absolutely destroying everything, but yet it still remains. So lots of mystery happening in this game. And I, I can't wait for like the big reveal to like really really understand the story <clears throat> next morning immediate regret yeah but sometimes you gotta do that for yourself sometimes you have to be slightly irresponsible that's awesome common uh i'm hoping that we get to watch advent children together like when 
we actually, I think, when was Avid Children recommended? After we finished Rebirth or something like that? I can't even remember our chronology of like things we should experience all Final Fantasy VII related. I think it was um, Crisis Core into Rebirth, but I don't know where Avid Children fit in that. Probably best after Rebirth. I mean, if I'm gonna experience the OG, then it's best you finish playing. I know, I'm, don't worry. I've been children, and I know, it's, it's super spoiler territory. I have seen it though. Like, maybe in 2009 or 2010. It's, it's a very long time ago. Um, I don't remember entirely what happened. It's, I remember some characters. Like, <clears throat> I remember seeing maybe Rude and Reno in it and Cloud. I remember the church or building that we find Aerith at and that's it really. You forgot you were here, yo Craven. Hello, nice to have you. I'm I'm hanging in there, Craven. It's been busy week for me so far. So I'm like mentally already ready to call this a week. But I want to play some video games, so I'm excited to dive into Final Fantasy 7 today. I'm feeling like a slight amount of fatigue, but that's because I adulted all day yesterday. Like, it took all my mental energy to do all the errands I had to do. Like, I went grocery shopping, I had appointments, I had things to go pick up, I had packages to deliver. Um, I also whipped out an amazing dinner um, for, like, spending time with my mom. Um, yesterday, I think I posted a picture on Discord and like, so I did the cooking and everything like that and then drove to and from um, errands and, and by the time I got home, I was just so, so tired. I didn't even want to put the groceries in the fridge, but I had to because I knew they were going to spoil. And then I had like a lot of leftover things to put away in like cupboards today. So busy, busy, busy. I'm just really like thinking. I want a nice like, <gasps> oh, excuse me. That's the tiredness from adulting speaking. <laughs> I really just want like an evening tonight just to like watch a movie and like chill out and veg out a little bit. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. That's kind of what I'm looking forward to today. And we have Friday tomorrow and I might, might be switching up Friday stream to something other than what we've been normally doing, but I'll keep you posted on that. It was impressive, thank you. Um, I mean, I think from the dinner that I made yesterday, um, let's see. What what parts of it did I make myself? So I had like a chicken course. Um, I can show you. Not all of it 100% was made by my hands, but I, I like at least kind of came up with a lot of the the food that we we're having. So this this was actually purchased from the store. It's just like basically filo pastry stuffed with cheese um cause just because i felt like it was like a really nice appetizer i made these potatoes um i made the chicken i made the salad um and then i got some like uh garlic aioli um these were made by my mom um she had them in the freezer they're kind of like meat pies but they're called bird's nest because of how they look like and then she had some soup that was already prepared from the other day um but like Whipping this all together with like at very last minute was it was not the easiest to do. My mom's doing all right. My mom's doing okay. Thank you for asking. Hi, Mandravor. Looking uh, as hollow as always. Thank you. It was very good, Bosmos. I'm still thinking about it. I'm pretty sure. Like, Regal woke up this morning. I was like, you know, I'm still full from yesterday's dinner. I don't think I, I think I'm gonna skip out on breakfast. <laughs> They're really good gin um i can always like share the recipe on discord at some points yeah the candle holders are a little vintage but like this is the kind of like food that you'd want to eat with some bread and some chicken dipped in like garlic aioli and potatoes on the side this is really really delicious Uh, unfortunately, I left all the leftovers of my mom, so I figured like she would have something to have for dinner today. So no leftovers for me, but honestly, I ate so much yesterday. Oh, okay. Let's talk about Final Fantasy VII. Um, I, 
can let you know where we last left things off, but we haven't played since last week. And last week we had some like unfortunate incidents happen with like losing. Losing our save because the game crashed. So like we lost a bit of progress last week. The progress was mainly in, um, what's it called? I don't want to say Seventh Heaven. I'm, I'm saying Seventh Heaven because I'm looking at this. It was at the Gold Saucer. We spent a lot of time gambling and getting winnings and having a good time with like Chocobo races for the game to only crash immediately uh, after like our session of gambling. Like I was even telling myself, I'm going to walk away now. We're going to go do other story content. And then like it crashed. So we lost literally all of our GP winnings from the Gold Saucer. But it gave us a good excuse to continue the story at that point. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's like <clears throat> all side content, except like items that we could potentially get, which are good for us. So we might go back and gamble some more. But <clears throat> I really wanted to just kind of push the story at that point. Like we'd already spent like a few hours gambling. And even if the save didn't go through and even if we like lost progress, I wanted to just continue playing the game rather than like spend hours trying to get back all that progress, you know? I mean, I could even technically like grind a little bit of it offline. Um, hey, Lore, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know it's like real life. Like you learn the lesson, right? You lose it all. And, and people were joking like the house always wins, you know? Yeah, we do have it down. We did learn our lessons. We didn't walk away empty-handed, we walked away with experiences. That's good. But um, as far as the story goes, last time we um, managed to basically part ways with the Gold Saucer. Um, rudely interrupted in our gambling session. And we proceeded into the overworld where we... What did we do? We managed to find our way to the Cosmos Canyon. Am I saying that right? I'm, I th I'm thinking it's called the Cosmos Canyon, where we got to find out more about Red 13, otherwise known as Nanako, I think is his uh, name, his backstory, his purpose. Um, and now he's joining us on the quest to discover or like basically travel some more and explore and like try to save like the earth or humanity or the world. Um, we also got this like beautiful, Nanaki, thank you. Um, beautiful like demonstration of like the solar system and life and Mako and what it really is. Um, and we parted ways with the Cosmos Canyon and made our way to the north where we found Nibelheim still standing in one piece which had led to many questions like is it cloud that is mistaken or is there sh like some kind of weird sham going on here but we're not sure that's what we're gonna find out today oh i don't know why i skipped the intro there hi nika nice to see you um just glad i'm able to pick up persona 3 reload uh having a fun time with it that's a great comment good to hear Play on original hardware. Well, actually, um, yeah, that might be a bit more smooth than what I'm experiencing. I'm imagining the reason it crashed. I am playing the Steam version of like Final Fantasy VII, um, and it is modded. I think maybe sometimes the mods must cause some clashes or something like that, which is why we've lost some progress. The one thing I could benefit from though is actually emulating the game. If I could emulate the game, I probably would have a better time in like creating safe states in that way, like lose less progress along the way. Um, yeah, you do lose the VA if you do original hardware, exactly. So uh, we're continuing our playthrough in Nibelheim. Oh my God, sending some loony love? What? Hello, Denzi, Neckbeard, Eagle Core, Asian. Oh my God, Quadro. Lunity, hello! Nice to see you, Abandon, Jay Chosen. Thank you so much for everyone for coming in and for all the love. I appreciate your crunch time. Kurisu, hello, welcome in. Hi, my name is Ash. Um, I'm playing through Final Fantasy VII OG for the first time. Um, Asian, was this your doing? I see you in there. I see you in the raid. Um, this is my first playthrough Final Fantasy VII OG. Um, and the, my only experience with it has been the remake. 
So everything has been so fresh to get into, a lot of mysteries to solve here. So if you're into nostalgia, a retro time, and potentially a playthrough that spans from the OG into Crisis Core into Rebirth, then you're in the right place. Um, she only played the remake and Rebirth. I actually still haven't played Rebirth. Um, I've played the OG, but I'm currently playing Rebirth, so I can't stick around to, like, to avoid spoilers. Completely understandable. I don't know how many chapters you are in, but I literally opted out of Rebirth so that I could uh, play OG first. So that, like, you know how everyone's been talking about how the remake and Rebirth have made changes to the storyline? I wanted to experience the original first to set me up for, like, what has changed in Remake and, and Rebirth. So I, I just opted out, despite how good the game looks like and how I'm like dying to play it. It's been really nice to experience the original. It's been such a good experience. Yeah, exactly, Lunity. Um, so yeah, completely understand if you need to dip um, for spoilers, feel absolutely free. Um, if anyone wants to like, you know, watch if, if yeah, all time favorites, um, it's, it's definitely going up there for me. Literally, Remake is what introduced me into the Final Fantasy series in terms of like actually playing them. Of course, I've always known about them. And so, um, since I did remake, I'm very grateful to it. I played 10 and 12, and I've done Final Fantasy 14 in the first expansion. I played a little bit of 9, which we got to go back to, and now we're doing 7 OG. So, like, I'm very new to the Final Fantasy series. And so, with this playthrough, um, what I'm trying to get out of it is the experience that all of you had when you first played this for the very first time. But there's a bit of a twist. We're, we are running a voice mod for this called Echo S, if you've never heard of it. Um, it's pretty great. It's quirky. It's charming. And we're running some upscalers for like the textures and stuff like that. Other than that, it's pretty much a pure experience of the OG. And um, hoping that I kind of like capture all this magic so that I can take it with me into Rebirth, which is hopefully going to be great. My final, my, my favorite has been 10 so far, uh, Nefarix. And I mean, obviously I haven't completed this, so I can't give you the opinion on it. But yeah, Nef uh, Final Fantasy 10 was really, really good storytelling wise. Like it was incredible start to finish. All the characters were really endearing. Even if you were like really upset at Waka for being this like racist little jerk. Um, yeah, it, yeah, just get Carl voice everything voice chat easy. Yeah, 10 is honestly Lunity. So where 10, I don't know if you've ever played any of the Final Fantasy games, but um, let me go back to the main. Let me put this. Oh, I wanted to let the music play before I jump into the playthrough. Hold on. I mean, I guess that works too, but the opening uh, theme is so much better. The like main menu while I'm talking about this. Okay, only 16 in a remake. So I actually played a little bit of 16, but I didn't have time to continue the playthrough, which I want to return to. But some of these original experiences, people think that the core of the Final Fantasy series and where it really gained fame is from like seven to 10. 10 th that those are the core games um, that people really enjoy and are kind of like uh, cultists about, I wanna say, in a, the best possible way. Um, and I would say 10 was the first one that we became voice acted. So like before 10, nothing was voice acted. And to this day, 10 holds up so well visually. Like you'll watch the cutscenes and you're like, I can't believe this is a PlayStation 2 game. Like PlayStation 2 like just kind of like absolutely destroyed the boundaries in gaming. Um, I, you know, interesting, interesting opinion there, Crunch. Yeah, like I think 10 was where like so much magic happened. Um, yeah, and it's a beautiful story. I was so emotional experiencing that story. Uh, but I will say, the turn-based combat, if you're not familiar with it, you will need some time to familiarize yourself with it. I don't know. I mean, I'm wondering if 10 really needs a remake because it actually, you know, was voiced and it was very beautiful. I've heard really good things about 8 as well, despite it being divisive. I, I want to play 8 and 9, I started it, but I was going through a really tough place mentally. I want to go back to 9 because I think the characters in 9 are super, super beautiful. Like, Vivi, such an amazing character. I, I want to see a redemption arc for Zidane because I was really pissed off with him playing that game. Um, yeah, exactly Asian. Like, I don't think they can replicate that. And a lot of people don't realize that meme of, of the Titus laugh. There's so much like depth in that moment and like how emotional it really is. They are doing stuff with nine. That would be exciting, Gorka. 
Final Fantasy VI has nothing to scuff at voice acting or not. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like discounting like four, six, and all the favorites from like the Pixels and the Pixel Remastered series that came out. I want to go back and experience that. But the reason why I say seven to ten is because seven, I believe, is where it got really released to the West when like people really started like becoming aware of Final Fantasy. So those games just do really well. Um, Hello, Metric. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Hi, Finn. Um, Nine is your favorite FF of all time. Really hoping the remake for that would see the daylight someday. I think that would be really beautiful. Um, but I'm still going to experience the OG because I think like it's so good to have both. Okay, it actually had a remastered 10, I see. Seven was uh, the shift, but six was arguably, uh, arguably goat story-wise. I see. Hi, Equinox. Um, did I miss saying hello to anyone else, by the way? Blackjack. I found a bot in international PS2 version of Fall Fast 10, but I can't play it since I don't have PS2. It's in great condition too. Shmella, get yourself a PS2. Love hearing your input on the games. Appreciate a lot. I hate a dip so soon after rating. No, no, no. You're fine. Lunity, I understand how it is. Go do you. Thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it. So, actually, hi Tabletop, my experiences with JRPGs are limited. It's funny because my brother and I are both gamers and he's younger than me. We both game together growing up and I played things like Nintendo 64 with him and PlayStation 1 and stuff. But like JRPGs were not very frequent playthroughs of mine as a kid. Um, and he would always be talking about Final Fantasy and how emotional he was playing Crisis Core and all of this kind of stuff. Um, and you play like Disgaea and Disdea and all these kind of games. And I would just only hear about it from him. But like, as I started streaming, I started to dive a little bit into JRPGs. Like another one I really want to play this year is Chrono Trigger. Um, I was hoping to play it this month um, as, as just like a tribute to uh, Toriyama. Um, but I already started Final Fantasy VII and I just didn't want two massive experiences to like clash with each other. So yeah, I, I would say I'm fairly new into the world of JRPGs, aside from like playing things like Pokemon and stuff. Yeah, Persona is something I've been meaning to play. I have a bunch of the games on the Switch, but since they're such massive like 100 hour experiences, it's kind of hard to like dive into. Um, but yeah, I've been like slowly just like tackling more and more games. I won't like, I'm not saying I'm gonna tackle them all, but I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's okay, Gorka. Hello, welcome in. Here's your hello. <laughs> Seven was your first. I barely remember anything, but I do uh, wonder if I should rewatch it as I'm going through Rebirth or embrace the fact that I don't remember what's going to happen. Um, I don't know. I can't tell you much tabletop, but I can tell you that people here who've been hanging out have been playing Rebirth while watching my seven playthrough as a refresher, and they've been enjoying it. Um, but things are a little bit more fast paced in the OG versus all the side contact you get at Rebirth. So I can't tell you, if you want it to be a magical experience and maybe you forgot some details, go in it without having seen seven. Some people are finding my playthrough like a nice compliment to their Rebirth playthrough. Watch your brother play it. Yeah, I mean, I've also heard of people who like literally, you know, tried it themselves as young kids and struggled with it. Two was your first, nice. Um, yeah, I know it's 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 a good time to play it, but so sad. Persona mentioned, yeah, Asian coming out of the. It would work for that one. Um, I probably have better luck ripping it and emulating it. You still got a beautiful copy of the game. Yeah, it's it's good. Hey, Tamba. So today we're going to be doing day seven of my playthrough. And if you want to hang out, you're more than welcome. I will tell you two things about my playthrough, though. Um, I'm not looking for game spoilers. That means like story and how to play the game. However, I will always welcome tooltips on like quality of life stuff, stuff that I didn't like maybe understand. And I might ask for some advice here and there about like materia and combinations and things like that. Um, but I'm not really looking for like, oh, this boss is weak to like water, you know, like or use 
uh, sorry, or like blizzard, use like cold spells or things like that. But if you tell me like, hey, if you hit shift here or like select here, you actually pull up this and that would make it really handy. Like someone told me that I can rearrange my materia without having to remove everyone manually. Like that stuff is so helpful and so great. But most of all, I'm excited to like share in this nostalgia with all of, all of you because your nostalgia and your love for this game is making my experience so much better. Like, I can't imagine if it wasn't for all of you like gushing about how great this game is. Um, I don't know if I would be having the same experience. I probably would be enjoying it a lot, but it's definitely heightened with all of you. Um, in addition to that, we do have the OG copy of the game, which does have a manual, and I have been literally using this manual as like a supplement to my playthrough uh, to like learn more about like status and, and all these kinds of things. So things that I wouldn't know otherwise, unless I like asked all of you or like looked it up online. So it's been really cool to like actually refer to this every now and then. Like, um, like I will constantly come back to... Where is the page? Like, there's like pages about like status changes here. Hold on, my camera will definitely do its things. And then they'll actually tell you like what it is, how you cure it and stuff like that. It's really helpful. Cause like, like what was Fury for example and like how I deal with it. So that, that that's really helpful. Um, yeah, I know. It's saying Sid is an old man at the age of 32. Yeah, they have like some info on the characters at the beginning, who they are, um, Sephiroth unknown age, you know, things like that. Um, like some tips about battle commands, battle screens, status changes, menu screen commands, you know, materia, how they work, the PHS systems, writing things, you know, and then there's just like a bunch of nice pictures. So it's cool. The Prima official strategy guide don't have that, fortunately. It would be nice though, that would have been really cool to have, like, by my side. So yeah, um... If you want to join, more than welcome. If you need to dip after Lunity stream, I completely understand. I'm sure you've all been sitting there for a little while watching Lunity play through the game. Been a long session. Iceberg of information, yes. So where we are in our playthrough, because I've already done a recap, but I'll let you know, just so all, all of you that are new in here, this is day seven of my playthrough. Last time we spent an entire session at the gold saucer gambling away. <laughs> we got very sucked into it, but unfortunately my game crashed and I lost all my gambling pro progress. So the house won, um, but we know we still walked away with our memories, which is great. Um, we then went on to Cosmos Canyon to learn more about Red, uh, Red 13 or Nanaki and his backstory and his father and just like experience the beauty that is Cosmos Canyon and learn more about like Mako and the world and about saving it um, and our vigor being renewed now we like venture off into the overworld and we finally come up upon Nibelheim which was a shock because like from what we know from Cloud's memories Nibelheim was supposedly destroyed by Sephiroth um, yet there it stands. So like the question now, and I don't want to know the answer is, is Cloud sure about his memories or is there some sort of like sham going on here where they don't want people to know that Nibelheim was destroyed? So there's like some weirdness going on here. Um, we were in this like Shinra mansion again, trying to find maybe our way to Sephiroth. And that's kind of where we stopped uh, things. I don't even know if we're going to find Sephiroth, but that's kind of where we are. Um, so... The mystery remains. Yeah, I did. I did get addicted to Joker Racing, but it was fun. We had a good time with it. I'm here for the long haul. Even if I fall asleep and end up lurking, you are more than welcome, Blackjack. Um, we, I don't mind going back to the Gold Saucer. I might even return to it, but I think we're going to continue the story for a little while today before we do that. Hi, Volpe. I just want to pop in and give you an update on the project. The video is complete. Just need to do the music. Yeah, Volpe, that's awesome. Congrats. Good work. Thanks for the update. I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday as well. So last thing that we did in like the Shinra mansion um, is actually, well, I really hope I saved. I'm pretty sure I saved, right? I think there's only one way to find out. Let's head to the safe. Because I think we didn't collect the key from the safe. 
Oh, there it is. Okay, here it is. Yep. We saved. All right. This is the basement key. So this was safe. This was a safe by Hojo that was actually like a bunch of like uh, cryptic messages about where to find the code around like the mansion. But then opening it was actually worse than finding the code because it like was on a time limit. <laughs> and it was very hard to get the precise inputs for the thing before the time ran out. So we fought something big. We got a reward out of it. I believe, was it a materia? Let's see. What was our reward? Titan? I think summons Titan. I think that's literally the material we got from this fight. Yeah, we got it like with one second remaining. And um, also this key from the safe, which we forgot to pick up last time. Okay, Titan might be a really cool um, summon to have. So I might swap out one of our existing summons. Um... Oh, I have two transform magics. Oh, they're definitely putting time in then. Instead. It was from uh, Gongaga. Really? I I thought that we had earned a material last time. So what what did we earn last time as a reward for fighting that boss that I actually managed to destroy first try? Was it Cosmo Memory? Cosmo Memory is the thing that uh, Kachi can learn, right? The Odin summon? So we've already put that on. Okay. It's, it's already on. Okay, thank you, Sweet. I appreciate that. Uh, rebirth after OG, or are you going to go forward with Chrono Trigger? So, Asian, my timeline right now, and I've asked everyone about this, is going to be um, 7 OG into Crisis Core, right? Because we need, we need to experience Crisis Core. Oh my god, it's stung. Wait, two massive raids back to back. Oh my god, hello, Johnny, Mala, uh, Vensual, we got Majima, Pood, Party. Hello, welcome in, Mi Mixu, uh, Duck of Poon, uh, Plipper, Rayan, Virtual Butt, Section, Mito, Colossal Cactus, Latali, Unirest, Lee, Pink, hello, you're being raided by Ballstream, yeah, I, I, <laughs> was he playing Dark Souls today or was it Noita, what was it, hi Loop, hello Smo, Palindromes, Fred, Photokinetic, Simple Banana, Henners, Lynch, uh, Ray Muxa, Ash, uh, Chostings, Tapshell, Diablo, Purdy, Orange Moose, Birdie Cloud. Welcome in everyone. Hopefully I got most of you here with the hellos. Hello, Red. Okay, Dark Souls. Non-American confirmed. I'm not an American. <laughs> Because he was pa so today was Dark Souls. How far did he get? I don't know if any of you remember me. He did raid me like about a, a week or two ago. Because um, I was doing Dark Souls speedruns. Um, and then I came to watch him the other day as he was doing uh, Sun's Fortress. That was great. <laughs> I was trying so hard not to like backseat him. Because I was like, oh my god, the Sun's Fortress was something. Died 15 times a seat. You know, that, that's totally understandable. That, that boss is awful. How many times do you get like cursed to the ground two black knight halberds no way of course i remember thank you virtual he's starting four kings soon without the ring who's gonna tell him <laughs> so yeah I, I do dark souls speedruns but today um i was just telling everyone how we're playing final fantasy 7 og for the first time i don't know if anyone's played this as a kid or at some point in their life but i'm literally playing this before rebirth so that i get the original experience um and, and enjoy it so I can see the comparisons and the differences with the new game. He lost even more hair since the last raid. Shame. <laughs> I like that. Do we have like some kind of like percentage measure? Like we take his camera from like the stream like two weeks ago and his camera now. We're like mapping out how much hair loss has happened in here. Hi, Vandal. <laughs> Finally beat it after 20 play playing which game? Dark Souls or, or this? He's trying to lock rock lee it at the moment <laughs> we weigh it oh i see i see okay <laughs> well i was like kind of wondering because like last time i was there I, I was wondering if he was actually going to find the cage key because of the jump in sun's fortress and most people don't know there's a place to jump to but i imagine people did tell him that that was a thing that existed because i think he did eventually go there um but yeah, that was interesting to watch. I just, I kind of wanted to give him the Sekiro advice, which is like, hesitation is defeat. Cause like literally Dark Souls, you gotta be really confident playing that game. But like, 
measuring that confidence. He kind of found himself. Whoa, that's awesome. That's really good. I missed that in my first playthrough for sure. But yeah, um, we maybe had to scream at him to actually use it on the shortcut. Yeah. I, I mean, understandable because I didn't even see that cage in my first playthrough. <laughs> but yeah, hi everyone. I, I'm Ash. If you want to hang out with me today, you're all more than welcome. Um, I'm just going to be experiencing this game for the first time. Just so you know, I don't know the story, so no spoilers on the story. But if you ever want to give me some quality of life tips, like how to rearrange my materia, or like if I press this button, I get to see this, and you know, all that kind of stuff, that is more than welcome here. Other than that, I appreciate your enthusiasm for Final Fantasy VII. It's heightening my experience, and it's been a really good time so far. Um, so, right now just in case you you do want to you know stay and watch um we are in uh, the Shinra mansion at Nibelheim which is interesting because Nibelheim was supposedly destroyed by Sephiroth from Cloud's memories so now we're questioning is a Cloud that didn't know what happened and his memories are altered or is it that actually Nibelheim was destroyed but there's some sort of like weird setup happening here maybe by Shinra itself to just deceive everyone that it never was destroyed in the first place I don't know it's a mystery are we gonna find Sephiroth who knows knows but it's been good are you using long range material i am so i can show you my material loadout for tifa right now and i'm loving it all right so we have um first of all like elemental material with fire this just makes sure her tiger fang weapon has fire on it we also have um uh, added effect with transform magic which has been really cool it means that literally if i punch something it can transform an enemy into a toad which has been hilarious that's been really good we have the steel command the sense command on her we have earth magic and we have the long range um to make sure that even if she's sitting in the back she can attack um even the back row um and she just stays in a really defensive spot um, in the party, which has been awesome. Um, they are long games, Latali, uh, but I would say the experience is still shorter than the remake and rebirth. Like the remake experience of this game was a very quick run through Midgar in this one. Like it may have, have taken me like eight hours or less. Um, and then you get like something like remake, which is like a 30, 40, 60 hour playthrough. Um, but yeah, it, this one I've seen on how long to beat is an approximation of like 35 hours. However, I am a streamer, so things typically take me a little longer. Like I'm talking to all of you now forever about this. Um, and yeah, I'm doing some like side content and stuff on it. Like I'm not ex exactly like rushing and pushing the story. Hi, for Santa. Hello. Well, that's just like expedited playthrough i'm sure there's like some completionist numbers in there too but it, i recommend them they're super good the music in them is so fantastic the gameplay amazing uh and you know if you've played like if you never played the og and you at least played remake and you enjoyed it i do recommend going back to experience this yeah i i mean i'm not skipping all the stuff but I, I imagine some people if they know what they're doing and they're experienced like final fantasy players they could probably rush through it rather quickly Oh, these are the worst enemies ever. I think these are the ones that you can either hit them with magic or hit them with uh, physical attacks, depending on the orientation of the scale here. I'm gonna use Thundara. It's probably gonna hit two of them. Oh, really? Oh, they already shifted, so then it's gonna be physical attacks here. Okay, my bad. Speedruns um, are kind of interesting territory when it comes to Final Fantasy because they're either surprisingly like long um, because like there's just a lot of content to get through or they can be shorter than one with the Okay, so wait, I need to attack with magic here. Um, fear uh, should be no fear. Or Fyra. You all say Fyra or Fira? But yeah, last year we actually spent a lot of time gambling. I don't know if anyone's been spent time with the Gold Saucer. Uh, there was a lot of Chocobo racing gambling. There was a lot of claw machine stuff. There was like basketball games. Fyra? Okay. Uh, and oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I um, lost my mind there. Yeah, that's how I say it too, Ethereum. 
These are the worst enemies. My bad. Let's try and death blow one of them. Dorky face. Let's hope it connects. Oh, the miss. These are annoying because they'll this. do this like funky little cloud. And um, the funny breath, it can make us like attack each other, which is really frustrating and confuse us. I'm not holding back! Okay, Cloud. Let's do a regular attack. Like Tifa's spinning out of control now. So, yes, I don't know if I pointed this out to you, but I am using a voice mod. It is called Echo S, and it's very interesting, it's quirky, it's charming, and it's been a lot of fun. Um, I think the voiceovers for the main characters have been fantastic. Everything else has been like, you know, fantastic to like in between, and but it's been really cool. The non-English one sounds better considering it was made by Japanese. Ooh, I need to hear that one. The Swedish word clearly is gunk. <laughs> but yeah, you'll get to see more of the voiceover as we play through the game. It's so the interesting thing is is obviously all the dialogue is um voiceovered at the cutscenes. Um there are the dialogue options are voiced as well, which is, you know, some creative liberties they've taken. They've created their own battle lines because obviously this game was never voiced over when it came out so their battle lines they had to sort of invent like what would cloud say in combat what would barrett say in combat and so every now and then you'll either hear grunts or battle lines from them which is kind of cool i definitely recommend it if you played the og you know you could play this echo uh, seven mod as like a way to re-experience the original with a bit of a twist they did they did voice over the quays are you telling me the quays were not voiced over in the original okay you don't remember okay hey pot nice to see you Yeah, I imagine they probably made the noise. All right, moment of truth. Will we find Sephiroth there? Da, 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 da. Ooh, what is that? Ying? Does that have two heads? Maybe we can manipulate it. 1,200 HP. It doesn't say or define any weaknesses. I'm a little scared. Oh, it can use Blizzara. Yeah, that hurt. Couldn't manipulate. Interesting. Guess we'll just... Use our limit breaks here. This is such a weird enemy. Yang's excited, that's not good. Ooh! You can destroy one part of it. So yin and yang. Okay, interesting. I imagine... The same thing... Or well, whatever it was planning is not gonna go through. I think physical attacks really don't deal that much damage to it. I'll try thunder here. Yeah, it seems like magic attacks just do more. Hi, it's Lush. Yeah, it is. It is very good. I would say both for like me the streamer and you the viewer sometimes hearing the dialogue voiced over is really really handy what is this place i don't think we've ever seen this the first time we came here there's a coffin here yeah so finishing touch must be a new limits yep let's check it 
blows away all opponents. That's kind of cool. So this one attacks them. This one blows them all away. We're going to try that in combat. What is this coffin? To wake me from my nightmare. Who are you? Oh, <gasps> Vincent! Oh, I mean, how could I forget Vincent? And he would be in a coffin. I don't we're acquainted. Please. Oh leave. my God! It's our voiceover of Vincent. A nightmare, eh? Why are you having nightmares? <laughs> Tifa <laughs> asking the important questions. This long nightmare is my only way to atone. Atone? Nothing. It's none of your concern. Leave. You'd do well to leave this mansion. The place where the nightmare began. <sighs> you can say that again. You. What exactly do you know? I like his gritty voice. Talk about Sephiroth. Mm. Um... Talk about Sephiroth. I don't know if I want to be so forthcoming with this information. Mm. Talk about Sephiroth. But it might be the only way to get answers. It's exactly like you said. This mansion is where the nightmare began. So what do you all only think of the voice mod? I wished it was a dream, but it's all too real. This is where Sephiroth lost it. Where he found the truth of his existence. Sephiroth? You know uh, Sephiroth? You know Sephiroth? <laughs> oh, this is so cool. He can fly and float. That's so fantastic. Talking about Metal all. Gear. <laughs> so, five years ago, Sephiroth discovered the secret behind his birth. The Genova Project. He then went missing, but has recently reappeared. And he says he is seeking the promised land and left a pile of bodies in his wake. So, tell us your story. My apologies. Well, that's disappointing. My sins are all the greater knowing what I do now. I will no doubt be greeted with a plethora of nightmares. I wonder where the sins are. And the are. more torturous they shall be. Now, please leave. Dang! Hello? He just put himself back in the coffin. Hey, I want to recruit him in my party. If I could recruit him in my party, I would love that. Yeah, you know, organic, it probably is that kind of exp that jarring experience of not expecting the OG to be voiced over, but it also is really cool at the same time. I can imagine this is very weird for anyone who's like, you know, super nostalgic of a Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, um, I would say don't expect the voice acting to be 100% spot on throughout. Like, the, all the minor NPCs and stuff are like everywhere. They're like everywhere and like... In, in voice acting quality and like mic quality um but at least the mainstay characters have a lot of effort put into them um i can't say nikon we've talked about this i won't promise anything about dirge of cerberus but my friends have a fantastic podcast called every f and ff uh good stuff if you want to like at least listen to their podcast episodes about the Dirge of Cerberus and the kind of things they've unearthed through like the um, looking at the code of the game and things that maybe people didn't know about Dirge of Cerberus that was never really unearthed because not many people ever played it. But they're big Final Fantasy fans. We got Carl, Alex, and Curtis, very fantastic people who love things all Final Fantasy. They play the game um, and they every episode they talk about what they did in their playthrough and they talk about all these details and all these cool tidbits about it. So, and they're just really, really great together. So if you want any Final Fantasy uh, like podcast and you want something new to listen to, I highly recommend that. Um, I hope one day they invite me onto the podcast so they play a Final Fantasy that I've played. When use it for a private play, they're fair. 8-bit, completely fair. OG Final Fantasy with updated graphic model plus voice lines might be better uh, than the remake for you. You know, see, I've heard a lot of people feel that way if they're like OG fans, that like they are not the biggest Final Fantasy VII remake fans. And I understand because it did take us creative differences. Um, personally for me, like going back now to play the OG after I played remake, it's nice to see things like 
like Aerith wearing that red dress and that moment where she appears before Cloud, like that was really cool to see animated, you know, getting to know more about Jesse and the Avalanche members. Like there was a little bit more life and moments to really see these characters flesh out. But I understand if it's not the vision that OG fans really wanted. Um, but it was the reason I played this game, so. Playing this in the remakes? I don't know if they've done a seven episode, I have to see. Yeah, I, I hear people say anything between like, they love the changes to it puts them off and they don't understand them, but I think people can agree that there might be some things that the remake and rebirth have brought to the table that have been really fun to see come to life in different ways. Um, like I'm hearing really good things about the side content and rebirth. Um, let's see. Maybe I do want to sense them? But it seems physical attacks do really well on them. We also just Thundara them, see what happens when we attack all of them with magic. Okay, one died. Alright, they're easy targets. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, I'm gonna do that, Uncle Bob. I got a vampire fang, that's you. I was just trying to walk in front of the coffin to see the exact position to engage with them again. Drains the HP out of one opponent, okay. Hello? I'm here to You're rudely awaken here. you. Go to sleep. Who are you? Yeah, like you Go to sleep. <laughs> you can tell who us who you? you are. At least tell us your name. I worked at Shinra. The General Affairs Investigation Department. Interesting. He was Turks. one of the Turks. My name is Vincent Valentine. What a cool guy. The Turks? Formerly of the Turks. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you are? Cloud Strife. Formerly of Soldier. You were also with Shinra? Hmm. Then do you know Lucrezia? I don't know who oh? Lucrezia is. Dr. Lucrezia Crescent. Dude, the do you hear a mouse click there? That was weird. Someone gave did not birth. edit that line. Isn't Genova Sephiroth's mother? That is one of many myths, though it is not completely untrue. In truth, he was born to a beautiful woman. That woman was Lucrezia. She was an assistant to Professor Gast. The man responsible for the Genova project. Ooh, big a reveal. human experiment. I was unable to prevent it. I was unable to dissuade her. Those are my sins. I let the woman I respected, no, the woman I loved, suffer a most terrible fate. And so you sleep here to atone? That's weird. <laughs> Thanks, Tifa. Imagine our like normal response as human beings when we're called weird or called out for our actions. We just like freaking shut the coffin and like not respond. We just like freaking shy away from it. <laughs> I must sleep now. I must sleep now. Okay. This is his way of dealing with confrontation. You're weird goes back to sleep. Yeah, he sure is telling us a lot. Hmm, okay. Let's see what answers we could potentially find here. I mean, I agree with Tifa. It's like, why would you be atoning by sleeping in a coffin? A little strange. He's depressed. <gasps> Sephiroth! The man himself, no Being way. Being here brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? By the way, won't you be participating in the reunion? What the hell is all this about? Jenna is holding the reunion. With the reunion, she will become the Calamity from the Sky. So that's what all those black robe figures calamity are talking about. Calamity from the Sky? But I thought Jenova was just an ancient. I see. It would appear that you are not eligible to do this. I shall proceed. Then follow. 
interesting. The reunion? Calamity from the sky? <gasps> did he just hit us with a materia? What the frick, Sephiroth? What? Did he just Superman out of here? What was that? <laughs> Destruct materia. Do you just Superman out of the room? Yeah, thanks for the free materia. Idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see. Equips destruct magic. Oh, really? We actually get the spell now? <gasps> but breach. I don't think I know what breach is off the top of my head, but this is pretty cool. Um. Maybe I can equip destruct on her for now. Anything else here? It's a love language, I see. Well, Sephiroth communicates. Oh, you can read books and stuff here? Wait. Fugitive reports. One. X month, X day, X year. Two fugitives from the facility were apprehended near Midgar. Hmm. Fugitive report two. Description of the time of capture. A. X soldier. Number. None. Yeah. Number none, huh? No effect from Mako or Genova detected. B. Regular. Number none. Big reaction to Genova detected. I wonder if this refers to me and Tifa. Do you want to know something slightly broken about material combination involving this material? Yeah, feel free. Um, future of report 3. Measures taken. A. Shot for resisting this. Arrest. B. Escape during A's resistance. Well, I'm guessing maybe the person that was shot, wasn't that, like, her father? Because we did see the death of uh, her father. You should report for other. B's current whereabouts are unknown. However, due to B's advanced state of cognition impairment, it is our opinion that he no longer poses a threat and can be ignored. <gasps> so B is us. Okay, okay, okay. Let's read this knowing that now B is clouds. B regular, but not ex soldier. But aren't we the one with cognitive impairments? Now this is even more confusing. Due to B's advanced state of cognitive impairment, is our opinion that no longer poses threat that can be ignored, waiting for the orders. Now this is just getting more confusing. All right, no answers, everyone. We'll we'll try and piece this puzzle together at some point. Yeah, gets more and more curious, like, if I know exactly who they're talking about or not. Destructing can be combined with added effect. Because the AP of materia is irrelevant to added effect, it means that someone's attacks will have a small chance to instantly... <gasps> no way. Hi, Alejo. Good morning. So you're saying that with her added effect here, I can take... I can go into a range and swap out, transform into destruct and potentially just randomly pull off, de like, death. But even if I haven't learned death, because, like, my there's no AP on this materia I just got. Like, I need to level it up. Instant death when she punches. But I guess I can still use Breach and Dispel, or at least Breach until I learn the rest of my skill set. Really? Doesn't care about your AP. I haven't learned frog, but that worked. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess I didn't pick up that. Yeah, th that's why we added that effect. Last time I was like, what would, what should we add uh, to it? And I was like, ooh, transform. And it actually did straight up turn them into frogs, which was really cool. Oh, well, we have had... Last time was the first time we actually witnessed the Chocomog, like stop enemies. We had that with that boss from the safe that we cracked open that Hojo left the keys for. And supposedly that boss is hard, but literally Chocomog for the very first time ever stopped something and stopped that boss. So I wasn't aware of that stop ability until recently, which I thought was really cool. That's freaking awesome. 
Okay. Well, I'm excited to see this play out. Oh, wait. Did they bite us and heal off of us? Okay. The back row hits. Yeah, I was so lucky, Orange Moose. Like, it was just a really fortuitous, like, circumstance that I happened to use Choco Mog and get stop out of it. Oh, that's so helpful. Hey, Dervish, I have played Remake, but I haven't played Rebirth. We're doing OG before Rebirth. So you're telling me that I can just go elemental and add elements without having to use the materia itself? Because I don't have any sort of way of dealing wind damage except Choco Mog. So if I wanted wind damage on either my like, if I wanted resistance or something on my armor, or if I wanted to do wind damage with my attacks, and I just add elemental. Chocomog. That's something I didn't know. That's fascinating. Thank you for that tooltip. I must sleep now. I really just want him to talk to me. Tell me more, Vincent. I want to hear your beautiful voice. Let's let's do an Odin summon. We have never seen Odin before. This will be our first, will be our first uh, Odin appearance. Zante, wait, I didn't see the rest of that. What that was called? What the heck? What the heck? On horseback? Moonlight? A beautiful sword? What is this? The Moonlight Sword from from software games? Zante Suken. I'm guessing one of those probably has to do with like moon or something like that. I didn't even check how much MP that costs. Let's see the meaning of this. Oh, okay. So it means iron cutting slashing iron sword. It's actually a famous... Um, it was made by a famous feudal swordsmith called Kobayashi Yashiro. This one weapon. It's actually a historical sword. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I figured. I thought at some point I was going to get some wind material, but it never happened. Or at least hasn't yet. Wait. Ooh, Vincent. Ooh, hello. If I go with you, will I encounter Hojo? Beats me. <laughs> no idea. But we're after him and Sephiroth, so you might just get your chance. Lucrezia. Oh, his Very cape well. is cool. I've decided to join you. What? J join us? Being a former Turk, you might find me useful. Then it's settled. Awesome. That's so exciting. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Kachi. I, I need to put Vincent in my party. Oh my god. He's already level 36. Oh. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out his equipment and materia. So he has a, a, something called Quicksilver. I don't imagine I have any equips for him. I don't think I found anything at least. Oh, never mind. Peacemaker is absolutely his. This gives us better attack percent. So I have a, ch a question, chat. We talked about this before. Wasn't the attack percent capped at like 350 or 300 or something like that? What does it mean attack percent? Is that like raising our ability to crit? Yeah, there is a double growth on this weapon too, which is really good. Um, the silver arm armlet though can definitely be... No, I think it's actually the best right now. Plus it has like link material. 255 is the max, okay. Accuracy could be wrong. Let's see. We can take a look at- ah, see if this book has a stat here for it. Break it down. 
So do you want to know how old Vincent is, chat? Because I have his information here. I, there's some one piece of information I haven't read regarding the characters because I didn't really know Vincent before this. Probably like 28 Yo Hu. Um, yeah, actually really close. His age is 27. You wanna know the best part? His job? What's his job? Because they actually have like <laughs> yeah, old man. <laughs> they actually tell you what his job is and like all these characters' jobs. Let's see. I'm trying to find if there's anything about this, these stat information, stat points. It says unemployed. This poor 20 year old man. Unemployed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. Um, I could tell you what the other characters, like their employment is according to this book as well. Literally sleeping all day SMH, right? So let's see, we got Cloud, who's mercenary, but ex-member of soldier. Eris is flower merchant, right? She just sells flowers in the slums. Um, Tifa is bar hostess, an avalanche member, all right? Uh, Barrett, obviously leader of avalanche. Um, <laughs> Red's job is so good. Beast. Um, just beast. This is a character we haven't met yet. Sephiroth, top-ranking soldier officer. Yes, we know this. Yuffie is materia hunter and ninja. Uh, Kachi is... I don't know what this is supposed to be. Toysaurus? Yeah, red job, doggo. What the heck is, like, Toysaurus supposed to be here? Let me read the description for Kachi, because I don't think we've read it. Um, we also don't know what Kachi's age is. Kachi rides on the back of a huge stuffed mog he magically brought to life. No way. Megaphone in hand, he always shouts orders and creates dopey attacks. When the slot machine attack works, the enemy lines look like overtuned toy box. His hobby is fortune telling, but he hit, like his personality, he, it's pretty unreliable. Yeah, Toysaurus. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was a zipper on his back. But I guess we never really figured it out. Um, so... Vincent's a mage, huh? At least what you're all saying. How do you know, like, what kind of job they have? Does it really matter? Scottish mythology. Yeah, I don't know too much about Scottish mythology in general. Well, Blue, first time catching you live. Welcome in. It's so nice to have you. I hope you're doing well. Attack percent is accuracy of attack. Detect percent and magic percent are the chance to evade physical magic attacks. Ooh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for looking up, Khaled. That's how you used him? Okay. Well, either way, we do need to equip materia on him. So let's exchange materia from someone else. We could probably trade out what we've been using here. Um... But there's more linked materia here at play. So, like... We can put this here, for example. We can bring that here if we really wanted to. Um, we can bring the summons. But we have just less spots overall to place things. Um, I need to buy more, like blue materia in general. I can do something like this and maybe earth for now. Just to play around with things for a little bit and then see what kind of materia we want to put on Vincent over time. Also, I imagine he would be really helpful in the back line, but uncertain. So let's use him in combat first and get a sense for him. Materia can change your stats. Okay. You stacked all the magic physics up on him and gave Tifa um, her uh, damage capping setup, which I want to spoil. Um, I guess the only thing I'm thinking about right now is probably using a source on him. 
depending on how we want to play him, and that source could be something like mines, like maybe increasing some magic defense or something like that. Oh, I actually have more luck sources. That would be good on Tivo. Yeah, I like the exchange, it's really nice. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a feel for him. This, this is really cool. Attack the mirror. Okay, Vincent. He has a ranged weapon, so he can attack the back line rather well. Whoa, Tifa, no! Oh, this is bad. Like, Vincent is literally tanking everything here. So what's the stat that, like, is that physical damage? Like, when we shoot with our gun. Gun damage? Yeah, instantly turning on him. <laughs> that's, that's really cool. Interesting. Yeah, I guess his build will come in due time. We might have to do some material shopping. We do have the money for it. I, I hate confused. I hate fa facing funny breath. It's really bad. Like, the priority is, like, the back line. Heck, everything else. Funny breath. Stinks. Get it. We need a cure here. I think Tifa is the one that had, or was it Cloud? It might be Cloud that had the cure all. But we can also go into the overworld and potentially use a tent there and heal our points. So let's see if we can just make it out. Let's see what happens in this mansion. Oh, more of them. Goes around, comes around. <gasps> Heck. That's so annoying. Yeah, this might spell death depending on. Yup. This is looking real bad. We can do this. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. I'm confident, I'm confident, I'm confident. I just need Cloud to not hit her again. Well, he's gonna hit her. Come on, Cloud, snap out of it. Overconfidence. <laughs> Dang, that sucked. I should have, I should have gone for cure all. Really does it, but we haven't really leveled that AP yet. These enemies are the worst. For my friends, it's absolutely ridiculous. So stupid. I hate fighting them so much. Um, I've kind of 
lived all over the world, Monar? Hi, Pry, what's up? It's probably that. Like, I've had a number of influences growing up, and, you know, I've been exposed to people from all around the world, so you, you kind of pick up a neutral accent, I would say. But my influences really just come from everywhere. Ooh, that's just gonna sting. Ooh, this is gonna sting. Amazing. Freaking dorky faces. Yeah, it is really nice touch. I like it a lot. They have such fast AT B build. It's so stupid. Blood suck. Okay, that's the bad attack. I never got to build like properly manipulate that to see if there was anything we could learn from it. Take a different backline. A cloud, do not hit your friends. That's interesting. So, if Cloud has cover but tries to attack Tifa, does he attack himself? I wonder. Oh, really? Combat before we interact with this? They heal themselves on the blood suck. To wait, who are you? Let's see if we can skip through the dialogue. I don't. And Why are you. Hmm. A tone. Nothing to do. <sighs> you. Talk. It's exactly. Only this is where suffer. You know. You. Was the game red like this last time? I don't even remember that. So he then and he. By him so recounting my, his memories. My. Oh, the. Now. Yeah, you have to save on the overworld. Essentially. Oh, go to sleep. Never mind. I told him to go to sleep this time. You're still here. Who are at least I worked at my name. The term for my It's really Cla good, Cashmere. I you do recommend this. Doctor. The upscalers are very, very the nice. Isn't hey Carl's very weird. What's up? Nice to see you. A human. Happy I was, Thursday. I was the, I let the, and so my, my, my. Okay. Should be pretty straightforward as well. We just need to grab the materia and get out. See Sephiroth be all weird Sephiroth. again. Being here. By the way. Checking what the materia the at me and leaving. Genova. Calamity for I see. I shall be the reu- So this is where we equipped this material to be destruct. to give Vincent his loadout again as well. Wait. Fight. Beats me. Very. What? Being. Then it's. He's 
gonna need an accessory at some point as well. Oh yeah, material. Exchange. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't um, carry over the quality of life stuff from this game to Rebirth and Remake. It's definitely very curious. Double quakes, gravity magic. For cutscenes? That's kind of cool. I don't think I've tried that. What magic does she have? She doesn't have an all. Just like hitting them is probably best. Alright, Vincent. so much for I don't know if you were the one that recommended Looney to raid me I appreciate it very much I hope you have a great sleep it's nice to see you again okay, let's hope we don't die on our way up here I can funny breath fools Honestly, it should be our priority to kill the dorky faces. No matter what. Okay. Hopefully we'll make it out safely this time. You mean I didn't get bad RNG? Okay. I wonder if they'll say anything the different. Sethroth. Gone. Oh yeah. Over the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to go through that mountain Gone. pass there. Great. Oh. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna have to save though first. Oh, calling. Sethroth is calling. I kinda wanna go talk to every one of the masked figures here before we like proceed so first things first though we're gonna save okay now that we've saved let's take a look at this map here it doesn't seem like there's much that we can do anymore like this is like the northern point so it feels like we have to go through the pass right here in Nibelheim to potentially even go forward. But I do want to go back to some former areas we've been to. Maybe we'll get to track back today a little bit because I feel like there's some areas that I have some questions about that I want to go back to. Maybe we could go and check out Fort Condor again as well. What do we say, everyone? Just do a bit of backtracking today. But uh, I definitely need to heads up, everyone, when, um... We, you... These are the two sisters. You really weird. So sad. Um, when we hit, like, disc one end territory, because 
If I remember correctly, we can't go back to things like the gold saucer and stuff if we actually hit disc two. Okay, they, this seems like most of them here haven't changed their dialogue. Yeah, it's good when you have like a purpose to backtrack to rather than like do it aimlessly. Okay, yeah. How do we take our vehicle with us? Instantly into combat. All right, let's go. Ooh, like... What are these dinosaurs? Sonic Speed B? Can we manipulate any of these? That didn't work. Harrier? That's a very innovative name for an attack. Weak against wind. I actually have something for that. Chocomog time! Oh! I got the rare fat chocobo! Hell yeah. Nice. That's the second time I've seen that. Good stuff, good stuff. I feel like I could play this game for like hundreds of hours. There's so much potential in it. Yeah, do we have any chocobo uh, emotes in this channel? I feel like we did at some point. I don't know if we still do. These mosquito looking things. But they're kind of like crickets at the same time. We'll try and manipulate one, see what happens. Oh, okay, we actually succeeded in the manipulation of one. <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't kill the manipulated one. Okay, all I can do is lay flat. Okay, that doesn't seem like anything important. Okay, good to know. Stick bugs, yep. Not exactly the most comprehensive enemies. Can it lay flat on self? <laughs> That's so weird to see it do that to itself. They have decent HP though. Hey Land, how are you? Happy Thursday. All right. Hmm. It's just up here. What are we getting? Rune blades. Is this an equipment? It is. Oh, it's for him too. It's an upgrade on attack and attack percent, but. Yeah, it's just better. More slots. More slots with still double growth. <gasps> that means we have a materia slot here on cloud. I'm gonna add tight into the mix for now. So happy to Lemons! I know, I'm happy you found my corner of the internet. Lemons is so good to see you. Happy 29 months. How are you today? I hope you're having a fantastic week. Hello, Greg. I am very much enjoying Final Fantasy VII. How are you? Um, doing great. It's Easter, so almost no one is calling at work, so I get to hang out here while playing Dragon's Dogma 2. Land, have a good time. That sounds so good. One of the best uh, weapons for material growth. Uh, hopefully, it's going to do us some real well here. I finally reserved your hotel in Florence. We're trying to find a vineyard that does uh, um, agriturismo to stay a couple of days in the Tuscany Hills. Oh my God, Louis, have a great time in Italy. Please share experiences and stuff. When is your grand trip? I do have big guard, yes. Um, I don't know if it does anything in combat. All I do know is it does lure them. Attracts chocobo. Whether it does anything, because it says meet chocobo's luck plus one. I don't really know. Aside from that. 
I would love to go to Italy someday. They do nothing? Okay. Um, since we do have that skill, let's use it. The guard. You can count on me. This one as well. Hey Nugget, good morning. So just having it on is just nice for crits. Yes, I just met Vincent today. April 20th until May 4th? What? That's so soon. I hope you have a fantastic time in Italy. And again, we probably are gonna do some gambling because we're gonna backtrack at some point, mana. So I'm probably gonna backtrack and then like on our way back, we'll stop by the gold saucer. But I'm pushing the story a little bit first here. So where my heart is at. I have to sense what their weaknesses. I haven't had a chance to do that. I don't think he was obscure at all. That coffin like stood out like a sore thumb. On our way to find Sephiroth. Who we also saw today. So, um, I'm gonna do something here. I have 90,000 gil. Awesome. I'm going to equip my Mithril Saber. And we're going to... Oh, he doesn't have it. Increase HP capacity and death blow. He doesn't have the stuff that I needed. Generally, I was using Cloud to cure all by the Mithril Saber. But... I think my healing is on other party members now. Yeah, I did. I did say I wanted to backtrack. Oh, really? So you're saying the safe puzzle was the one that gave me the key to begin with? Hi, Morgan. You made it on time this time. Welcome in. You haven't missed much. I just had to track back a little bit. It's nice to have you. I love Italy. I can't wait to just go there, chill, drink cappuccino and wine, eating lots of food. Oh, I hope you have such a great, great time there. Looking like last leg of the game? I don't know. I mean, I think I'm still in disc one and there's three discs in this game. Yeah, but that, that actual puzzle game, I'm pretty sure there's a clip of it, was really tough for me. I got in the last possible second. We don't talk to him multiple times. I see. Okay. Ooh, that's a big bird. The zoo, great gale. I want to sense I it first. Before I really choose something here. Okay, it's weak against winds. See how much damage we do here. I might try death blow on it. 422, not as much as I would hope. Can't reach. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's in the air. So Tifa can reach. Maybe it's just her death blow that can't. Oh low. Cloud is useless. Okay. Vincent Limit Break Waiting Room? Oh, I can't wait to see. Has, I guess that we haven't even hit limit for Vincent at all. Let's see, turns into Galleon Beast. What the heck? Now that's cool. Yeah, Vincent makes sense. Tiva has long range. I 
I can't remember um, if this is the case with Remake, but does anyone remember that if you scan an enemy once or something like that, you always get their information? Because in this game, you have to sense them multiple times. Like, let's say if you forgot their, like, weakness or something like that. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Ooh, Shiva, next level up. Perfect. Materia. Vincent. Yeah, that's a that's the thing that the mod changed. They actually insist on calling him Nanaki rather than the red thirteen. Greetings all, but the title is Final Fantasy. Yeah, I'm playing Final Fantasy Shazam. What's up? Um I think it's really cool, Greg. I've been learning a lot about limits and how to unlock them. I think the limits are really fun. Uh, we're looking at Vineyard in Tuscany. They all have these crazy apartments and old castles with under pools and it's cheaper than regular hotels. Oh my god, that sounds awesome. This looks like a reactor here. You assess enemy ones and then you have the information permanently. I wonder which you all like more, like, it's just as a gameplay feature. Like, the remaining information on screen that you can access at any time or like having to always sense to remember. Because as a kid, I probably would have sensed them and then wrote in my notebook, like, what their weakness was so I could just refer to my notebook at all times. I'm gonna try and toast them. It was after Cosmo Canyon. Of course, they didn't spoil Red's name until the reveal was made. She did 1,418 damage. Dang, Tifa. Well, maybe we can take some notes during this playthrough as well. Yeah, I think it's a nice quality of life improvement. I agree with you there. Is that the game I saw other games and this is different? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Shazam, but this is Final Fantasy VII Original. Um, and this is the only thing I've been playing on my YouTube channel, aside from like Elden Ring in the past. Interesting, maybe I should finish exploring this area first. Oh, there's a save point, perfect. Right, let's go there first. Yeah, I can't wait to go spend all that gill. This is the first time I've had this much money. I do not play Magic the Gathering. However, um, my husband uh, played it close to near professional, like almost making the pro tour. So I just learned about Magic by virtue of like listening to him. I played a tiny bit of Arena at some point. I think it's a very impressive game. But <clears throat> I never got into it myself. Just didn't get exposed to it. Maybe I should have gone to the save point before walking towards this big dragon. Can't lose this fight. That's not good. Yes, it was released in 1997. Mm -hmm. 3,500 HP. I didn't see a weakness. We can try death blow on it though. We're gonna have to bring back Cloud. Restore. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We'll use the Phoenix down in a moment here. Oh! Dang! 
Whoa! We have an element that's healing it. Our physical attacks are not gonna cut it. Oh no, that's not good. Is it fire? I probably have fire. As an equipment on my claw. Let's try Galleon Beast. Oh dang, that is interesting. Oh, that's so cool. It's healing him! I, Vincent, I need you to stop whatever it is you're doing right now because you are being so useless. No, you can't, she can't attack either. We're just gonna heal him. No, 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 no. no. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is really bad. This is really bad. Okay, Cloud can save the day. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. It's okay. Berserk Dance is pretty cool, though. We can just keep using some magic here where we're not absolutely useless. It's almost dead. It's fine. We have we have more than enough damage. Oh great. Thanks, thanks, Vincent. Thank you for prolonging this fight. Galleon Beast was the worst <laughs> the worst play here. Not even your screams will escape. Yeah, he's unemployed. <laughs> okay, okay, we survived. That was very touch and go, but we did it. I don't know how. Hi, Jason. Is it auto until the end of battle? I guess is that why people don't like, um... Let's see, we got a fang here. Is that why they don't like Vincent's limit? I'm guessing Fire Fang is a weapon. Tifa, do you have any weapon for you? No. Who's Fire Fang? I don't know if I see. Oh, there it is. Never mind. This is uh, Fire on all opponents. Okay. Now let's go save. But oh, this thing is still in the way. How are you doing, Dukin? Okay. Magic. Vincent. Just even a simple cure will go a long way. See, there's this item here that I'm wanting to get. Oh no, never mind. That wasn't the true fights. This is the true fights. Materia Keeper? Got your number! 8,400, 300 MP? That did a lot of damage. Learn enemy skill, try nice. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Let's see what this thing's weakness is. Why haven't we done sense yet? That did nothing. I see it. Level thirty-eight. Okay, but we did, we did do sense, but we just didn't find a weakness to it. Okay, Shiva. I can try fire on it, but I don't know if it's going to heal it. Okay, it did something. Okay, yep, same like the other boss, no fire. Hmm. 
so we're gonna have to use Quora on it. That means Tifa really is useless in this fight. Missing death blows ain't a good look. She might need to heal. Actually, let's do Quora again. We'll have Vincent hopefully clouds. Yeah, this is not good. I got this. Because Tifa can't do anything with this fire stuff on. Really? Revive him to kill him once more? Dang. Nothing can save you now. That's no work. Yeah, this fight's going nowhere at this rate. We need to survive this. I need Leave Cloud to, to be healthier. Where's Breach? Where's Protect Shell? Doesn't have that. Can you stop murdering Cloud? My ground. Will you be alright? Let me just rely on normal attacks because I'm just afraid. We're gonna do no damage whatsoever at this rate. Like, I need Cloud to be the damage dealer here. Not okay, so Death Wolf, please don't miss, don't, please don't miss, please don't miss. Yes! 1000 damage. Okay, good, 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 good. I think we can do this. We just need to stay in the game with heals. Bye, Greg. See you later. And whatever can keep us afloat. Okay, it's a 3000 HP. It we could sure use a limit, honestly. Let's go for a heal and a death blow. Nice, perfect. All right, I think one more, one more death blow, and we're pretty much in killing range here. Um, four twenty, nice. We'll just use our resources. Nice! Way to go, dude. Okay, it's done. Fight's over. Hell yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Da, 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 da. Dang, that was really clutch, but Cloud tanking it for the team. Counter attack material. Wait, I just gained a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, hold on, hold on. What did I get? Chat, you might need to help me out here because I feel like I just saw a lot of things flash before my eyes. I have no idea what happened. We got... Gem Ring. That's it. Protects against Paralyzed, Petrify, Slow, and Numb. Alright, okay, cool. Then we also got some Materia, right? Counter Attack. Counter Attacks when damage is incurred. This kind of feels like it would suit Cloud because... If he's going to be covering for people and we have increased HP, then a counter attack sounds very viable because he, if, if, if anyone in the party is attacked, I imagine he can counter attack. And I feel like that just is more chances for Cloud to inflict damage. Um, but I am realizing right now, 
Tifa's Materia protection against fire is proving to be extremely problematic right now. So I need to actually exchange that to, let's say, I don't know, like earth. It's something earth related. But, or you can just go ice, doesn't really matter ultimately. At least it's not that. Well, adds to weapon armor. We'll do ice for now. Also be combined for fun combos. Yeah, I, I will I will basically, if you want to point out a fun combo, just let me know if I want the tip and I'll let you know, essentially, if it's okay or not. Counter attack material allows you to hit the enemy when it hits. The level of it is number of times per fight you counter attack. Okay, nice. So like one for one star, four for four stars. Hi, Fraggle. Nice to see you. Welcome in. Um, yeah, if, if, if you want to point something out, just let me know. Long range plus cover might be cool. I'm wondering how that would work though, because like cover. Long range, same attack power even from the back row. Oh, so you mean like I would be taking less damage while being in the back row and having long rage at the same time? I'm guessing that's kind of what it's implying. How is the stream not just 100% memeing the choker racing and gold? So honestly, we did that by quite a bit last time. <laughs> then we lost progress because our game crashed. Which was heartbreaking. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's kind of an interesting interaction. I mean, we can always give it a go. But that means we'll have to maybe exchange cover for Tifa and see how she handles. She doesn't exactly have the most HP in the book. I don't know how to get this item. It's really frustrating. Maybe I have to go somewhere else to do that. Oh, these... These are not new. They are in a way, though. I feel like I've seen them before, but they don't think I've fought them before. Stare down. Okay, they've inflicted a status. They die pretty quickly. I have to equip the gem ring as well. Okay. I see it. it doesn't exactly have much here. Can we manipulate it, see if we can get learn something from it. Okay. Absorb stare down. And try. See if there's anything to learn. Okay, guess not. All right, let's attack it. I need to see this new attack I've learned as well, Trine. Right. Equip. This power list. Tifa, what do you have? She has spirit. Spirit is magic defense? Paralyzed but we're slow now. Magic, clouds, enemy skill. Lightning damage on all opponents. That's cool. The steel is really good. I will try that out, Kuroshi, because I, I have an opportunity to just save and farm here if I really wanted to. We have more to explore as well. I wonder though, let me use tents here. Let's 
we might need to, yeah, we can use the tent. All right, we might need to, um, in a moment here, just play around with tents. Okay, this goes outside of this cave. Yeah, this is a mod, like, the textures and the backdrop and stuff have been upscaled. Oh. Wait a second, this is new. Oh, I know where we are. Is that, is this where I think we are? Haven't we been here before? Okay. No fire attacks. She doesn't do fire attack anymore, which is good. So she can attack with regular attacks. Hi, Vorpal. Let me break, let's go. Oh, I have a miss on that last one. You asked for it. Let's go, Tifa. What kind of damage numbers can you pull here? We should steal with her as well, I forgot. We need to do that. Oh, gold arm lift. Nice. Dude, he just tanked that for the entire team. Okay. That was rough. Ooh, she learned something new. Limit Tifa? Yeah, new one. Let's go. Okay. Now I've learned all level two, so I can move on to level three. But I want to see what this is, attack an opponent. Maybe we should try it out before I go to level three. Now you can put, can, oh, but she can do all of them for level three, can't she? Okay. Let's see. I can, Materia, but he doesn't even have that much to begin with. I wanted to bring him back from dead using some magic, but this is okay. Wait, how do you access this chest? I wonder if this is the same tunnels I started off with at some point. These seem to be pretty easy to kill, but they just need to be killed fast before they do anything. Or they're not a threat. Hi, spiritual. Yeah, I could tent. I'm thinking about using tent in a moment. I do see this item here now. Maybe there's a way to get there? Another dragon. These ones are tough, I will say that. Oh, so close. Couldn't steal anything. <laughs> Come on, death blow. Yeah, we're gonna need to do a lot more damage to this thing. See if I put elemental and fire or fire on her weapon slots, then Tifa would be able to benefit from this. I'm not gonna limit break him because he's just gonna heal this enemy. Nice. Okay. Firefang. Um, let's see. Does she have... She does not. She has four slots. Hmm. 
What does she have that could potentially replace four slots? Gold armlet. A gold armlet. This is better. By far. And we just stole it. That's so good. Okay, so this gives us more magic defense, more defense percent, and just more defense in general. This actually, the gold armlet, would give her the potential to, like, use the cover combination as well. If we wanted to do that. It's double linked, yes. Like, I could... But the thing is that with all these double links, it's like we're using all these slots that could potentially be used by something else. Like, if I wanted to now change up my party, I could basically trade... But she has all the stuff. I could trade something like Sense with Cover. What did we say Cover might be good with? Long range? Does that work? But they're like two pink ones. Earth. I see. Steel won't do anything here. But elemental. Elemental here. Can at least be combined with fire. And give us protection against the dragons. They don't need to be linked, okay. I mean, ultimately, all of our material is linked anyway, so it's like not much we can do about that. She still hasn't done instant death either. Let's give this out a try. I could also technically... Maybe... If we change her to be our tank, then we're gonna have to also change her to counterattack. And maybe HP plus. Well, I think I think that's fine. That's fine for now. I need to. Ether Vincent so that he can magic cure all. <sighs> I've heard that, but uh, isn't it just a rumor at this point? You ditch cover? I'm gonna try it out a little bit and see if I can, like, you know, experiment with it a little bit. Okay, this is how you get the item? Wait, how do you get through here? I got a good build on Tifa. I guess we're gonna be finding out very soon. Kill these twin brains because they're freaking frustrating. Um, not really worth limiting here. I've never had gravity here. work, but I kind of want to try it. So is it really half their HP? Let's see. They're weak against fire, okay, good to know. If it would be great here. Not enough to kill it. Okay. I guess his summon would be actually really good here then. Wait, why did she attack twice? This is the kind of damage off of enemies. It starts a quarter, but then goes up to half. I see. Okay. Oh, they confirmed. When did this happen? Crunch time? I hadn't heard the news. Can't wait to play part 3 of Final Fantasy 9 remake on my PlayStation 9. Cover and long range work because you're in back row, so you take less damage while taking a hit from someone. At the same time, long range means that you don't have damage penalty to turn someone into a tank. Yeah, it seems like it. What is this? Why is there a court? Oh. Oh! That's so confusing. I didn't understand that. That's what was happening. 
there's it's so convoluted to explore these like hidden paths because like you have no visual on them. You just have to hope that you end up in the right place. Oh, mate cloud useless. Oh, great. Just gonna have to wait for Tifa. There we go. Yeah, that counter attack did 900 damage. Okay, nice. Fire level up here. That was impressive. Cool. Okay, that was worth exploring. Oh, see? We're back to this materia tree we saw. In like the... This is like the flashback cutscene. Elemental materia, let's freaking go. Didn't think we'd get to revisit this place again. Now I know, I'm like, wait, haven't we been here before? And I'm realizing this is... We have, but long ago. Alright. He's gonna do it! He's gonna limit! He's gonna galleon beast them! They're weak to fire, so this should be good. This feeling. Whoa! Dude, he has a transformation line! Look at that! He's gonna morph! Such a stupid attack. Nice, she counterattacks. That's actually incredible. Really, of all things you can do, like you can cast fire, you're deciding to just do your berserk dance. Then that kind of want to increase her defense stats, you know? If she's gonna be the one tanking, especially like magic defense and stuff like that. My favorite part of Final Fantasy VII was when Cloud says it's limited time and he limited all over those guys. Nice. Level up on two people. That's great. Yeah, to all elements, yeah. If only I had like a combination because I just feel like I'm switching out materials so much I didn't really have something that was good for that. I could technically like swap out um, material here for Vincent. There's the restore, I wanna keep that. I'll remove gravity and then we can like at least exchange. Um, there should be another fire somewhere. Earth, fire. Exchange this for Vincent. At least he has a useful all as well. Hi, happy dude. Playing the Steam port? I am, yes, this is the Steam version of Final Fantasy VII. Good morning. This is the way up. I wonder if there's anything to the right. There is stuff to the right. It's multiple points of exploration. Okay, there's something there. See if we can get to it. I have! It's so good. We need a heal on uh, Tifa. Well, you know, let's just kill things while we can. Yeah, we have some upscalers as well that are making this look a lot nicer as well. Magic. Oh, you know what? I do have some nice items, like a high potion. Two of these should do her quite well. Sniper CR. Oh, that's new. See what that is. Item. Oh, it's a weapon. Is it for Vincent? It is. Ooh. Wait, what's his? Is this peacemaker's double though. This is normal. What? 
Oh, look, it goes to 255. The accuracy just goes up so much. Okay, now we'll try it out for a little bit. What's the worst that could happen, right? Change elemental. And we could put elements on here. Maybe poison? We can throw poison out. Let's see what happens. I don't know if it's considered an element because it feels like it's more of like an add effect. We could try though. Where the heck are we? Why is this place so convoluted? Of the PS6? Hell yeah. That did not die as quick as I had hoped it would. Something tells me that poison is not gonna do anything. Sure, go for it. Was that organic? Mm. Who knows where we're going? Ooh, new enemies, I think. Screamer. Okay, we did manipulate one. Let's see if we can steal anything from them. Nothing to steal. Ooh, Iron Ball. Let's see if, we, if there's anything special here to learn. Kaylee, nice to see you! Sorry, there's a lot of pink people in chat right now. Let's see Warcry. Let's try Warcry, see if this is anything special. Okay. Did you learn all the material combo, uh, material combo spiritual? Who's pink? Lots of people are pink right now. Let me change color. You're fucking let me change color. Hi, <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> With 250% hit chance, death blow on Vincent is great. Also, the question mark enemy skill is great when you have low HP. Hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. We just got Earth Drum. This is Quora. Okay. Um. Uh... But didn't we put death blow on her? Oh, you mean death blow, I see. Yeah, from Cloud, sure. But Cloud does more damage overall because he also has like, like from his equip. Unless we change his strength. He just deals a lot of damage with it. We can, I mean, we can try it out. Let's see, um, arrange, exchange. Like, then the poison really is not worth it. Or maybe we can, like, switch out, like, Odin for death blow. Now, Cloud's not the strong character I, I had built him to be. And we might need to rebuild him. We also have sadness on him. Um, magic. Enemy skill. Okay. I need to use all these abilities so we can just learn them again. Um, magic. Oh, item. Was hyper the curia? Sounds there we go. Reliably, yeah. I mean, 
cloud was missing all over the place. But that weapon really does increase our accuracy. Wait, where did I come from? Hi, Em! It's nice to see you. Also, you have to let me know if I'm saying your name right, because I would feel so bad if I was butchering this entire time. Well, then we might want to change the accessory as well, because I forgot about the accessory change. Like, at me? Okay. Thank you for letting me know. I'm so sorry for butchering it. I just feel bad that these changes that we're making are making my cloud build, like, completely, like, irrelevant. Like, he's just- I don't know what he's supposed to be anymore. He's something, alright. I'm loving it. It's been such a good experience. Where? How did I? But what? Didn't I path from here? Oh, there we go. It's so strange. All right, let's try his death blow abilities. He just also has the benefit of range. So he can death blow. This, this guy on the back. Let's see how much damage he does. 1,000 with certainty. Let's freaking go. Brady! It's very good. I do recommend the mods. They're very, very good. This is where we came from. Let's go up here. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. This is a very long climb. Very long mountain. I mean, even Tifa is like... freaking incredible now. Oh, I could have just... There's death blow there. I keep forgetting to use it. Nice counterattack, Tifa. Yeah, I'm gonna have to rebuild Cloud and think about who he is. I'm doing pretty good today. I was getting ready to start my own day soon, but I want to see how far we got in Final Fantasy VII. Wait, I gotta ask you, Kaylee, did you submit to um, Summer uh, Games Done Quick? Infatuated? Yeah, I imagine a lot of people were when they were younger. Both MGS games? Let's go! Congrats! Did you submit them as like separate games or like something to do together? I mean, you should still do decent damage. Nice, I love the gun twirl. It makes every attack just more stylish. But yeah, we need to find Cloud's identity again. Okay, so isn't this what we just were looking at? Hmm. This bird again. Aren't you weak to winds? Let's try one of these. Death sentence. I don't have time for you. I think it didn't. Oh, wait. Death Sentence actually takes time to apply. I forgot about that. Death Sentence has a counter. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Now I remember what Death Sentence is. It's like 60 second counter for it to like die or something. Go up here. Am I missing out on stuff by heading here, chat? I feel like there's still more to explore. I 
I have a very busy day. I start my new role on Monday. Finish my backlog. Offer to help my colleagues with the clients or so whatever. I'm just gonna chill here instead. That sounds good, Louie. It's nice to have so much free time and not have to worry about things. I can interact with these things. This is literally where we saw Tifa's dad. Dead. It's our flashback scene. Check these pods. It's still occupied. Go with your guy if there's missable stuff. I mean, there probably is, but I don't know how I would return anyways. Am I not in track with us? Why would I be back here? I don't understand why I'm here. Still more for us to see. Let's see. Okay, there's a door there. Ooh, secrets. Oh. I'd love to see if there's anything in this area. Dang, clouds are just tanking it. Oof. We deal so much damage. HP plus level up. Nice. We have so much gill, it's ridiculous. Let go. Is there nothing really here? You telling me there's a secret to go nowhere? That's kind of a shame. I was hoping there was going to be more to that. I did not! I didn't really have anything to submit for it. I was thinking about doing any percent but uh, for Dark Souls, but it would have honestly been... ...just an online submission, and I think that it's not a very strong submission, especially when online runs are very limited. So I uh, just opted out from doing it. I'm sure everyone else has submitted, though. Let's see, where is that item that we just got? Birdwing. Use the whirlwind all up us. I'm guessing that is a wind attack. That'd be very handy. So this, I have actually played Remake. Um, this is why like, people who rip on Remake, I always let them know that like, you may not like Remake, but I would not be playing Final Fantasy VII OG if it wasn't for Remake. Like, I just love the game so much. <laughs> I was so happy to be exposed to it. And now I get a chance to explore more of the Final Fantasy series. I played 10. Nice. Trine is so good. What the heck? Trine is so good. I can play more of the Final Fantasy series. We played 10, we played 12. We got so many good experiences. Like, I'm really enjoying my time. Okay, so this is the reactor door that we came from. So now. Probably head down and save. Find all these other secret areas. Yeah, it's like, you know when you uh, put a post-it on someone's back and it's like, kick me or, you know, I'm the target, but that's literally what the sign is on them. If, if literally this shrine is that strong... I have to try and steal something from it. It's ridiculous. Go Tifa. Got it! Nice! She got another armlet. Perfect. Let's try another enemy skill. Since we're in experimental phase. Yeah, while you can. Damage. 
damage. So, if I'm missing HP, it deals the amount I'm missing on the enemy. So, since Cloud had 600 HP, I dealt the remaining I was missing on the enemy. That's freaking awesome. Hi, Zeno. How are you? Like, it's all you need to, to get another enemy skill that is even more broken. I, I'm gonna do some backtracking today, so I'm hoping to find some broken skills. We go here. This is where I jumped off, right? Let me save first. I can't remember where I jumped off. I'm not wrong, save file. Hey, music, what's up? Welcome in. We're vibing, we're definitely vibing. All right, if that's where we jumped off, then we have some room to explore here. But it feels like this takes us forward. If I go back, can I find things that I missed? Or am I going into the right direction? Because that room has a lot of things I haven't picked up. I need to fire on one of these. Nice counter attack. Dude, Vincent is so strong now. Let's make it hot. Um, I'll, I'll miss them. Okay, let's go back. So having HP plus on Cloud is actually really good. Since I can just use the question mark attack. Why is it question mark? Is it just that it's not revealed or just a meme? Will I be trying one? Yes, honestly, um, my response to that tech is I want to play Final Fantasy VIII. I have so many games to play. If they release an Echo mod for VIII, that will definitely be the opportunity. I will 100% jump on it. But if it takes too long for them to release the voice mod for it, I probably will be on that wagon sooner than later. But it's it's possible I might do 7 and Crisis Core and Rebirth and maybe 9 before I do 8. I'm not certain, but... Gunblades, yo, Draven, what's up? So we need to find out how to get here. Nice, not a dragon. So now, th this skill is actually going to do so much damage. Yep, that's ridiculously broken. That's a broken ability. She countered, then she stole. Couldn't steal anything. Alright, death load this. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Music. He has style. I know young me would have definitely been into Vincent, because I was like the kind of person into like Devil May Cry and like Dante and like Virgil and all these characters. Like, he would definitely been up my alley. Vincent fell and fine. Hell yeah. Like, um, let me ask this as a hint, chat. Are the answers to the puzzles in this room within this room? Yeah, it's true. They're always attractive. Sleeping in comics is also attractive. Okay, all right, then we'll just explore this room a little bit more. Well, it's okay because there's a save point and we've just been actively saving. Um, I, I'm a little ballsy though, it's fine. Also, is it like, how do you say your name? Is it like Zeke or is, uh, is it? another way also um i have the magic ability um called question mark question mark question mark on cloud which means him being at low hp is very very good because take his max subtracted by his current and then the leftover is the damage that we deal to the enemy Um, 
Well, there's only two openings to the pipes, and I tried interacting with them and nothing happens. Like, I see that there's a pipe that leads to that. Like, you can you can come out from any way from those pipes, but I don't know how to enter them, so I gotta... Yeah, I, I see the pipe following. Like, I understand that concept. I just gotta figure it out. So I gotta go to the top and look at it again. I wish I had all... Oh, we have fire -aga. That would have been so good, because then we could deal damage to these enemies. I should kill these though first, because freaking Hex there though. <laughs> she is dead. Yep. What a shame. It's okay, we got tons. offer that if anyone like I'll, I'll basically advertise it at some point that if anyone needs um, commentary for their runs then I'm more than willing to participate but since there's no schedule out yet and there's no sub like you know selected s submissions then I can't offer anything at this time but if anyone needs it I'm here are you giving uh, everybody here 1% battery anxiety with your bat uh, HP? Probably. You can go save right now, it's okay. Here, we'll use tent as well, okay? Yeah, you know I'm more than happy to help you, Kaylee, if you need some help, for sure. You get in, let me know. I mean, I'll probably know. I'll check the schedule. Um, item tent. Oh, tent doesn't work on people who are not alive? I was not aware of that. Um, then let's do this. Materia. Vincent. Restore. Um, let's exchange this. Aerith, you have what we need, right? The heal magic. Mm. No, let's not heal. And the material we're looking for. That's a shame I use that tent then. I mean, I think tents are cheaper than ethers, or probably better at this point, so I might just use another tent even though it's like a waste. There we go. Now I can save. Shame that I didn't understand this, how tent works. I thought like it would just revive them, but no. It, it does say in the description that it just heals them. Enemy skill equipped? Um. The one that has enemy skill equipped is clouds. Yeah, they're like 500. Good morning, Ernesto. How are you? All right. Let's go follow the pipes. You music. I've done some uh, commentary for SGDQ at two different occasions. I've done, like, at least um, for GDQ commentary, I've done two for Demon Souls for my friend Birdo, for Demon Souls Original and Demon Souls Remake. I like the commentary for that. I do recommend it if you're like a fan of like Souls games um, and Demon Souls and a little bit of lore. 
Then I've done commentary for my friend Carl, who did a Demon Tower run from Nine in the Woods. And that was during AGDQ 2021 or something like that. And then recently I did commentary for Kaylee for her MGS2 um, sub uh, is it Substance run? No, it's Subsistence? I'm forgetting right now the name of the... Oh, I see the pipes now. They even have numbers on them. Okay, we're gonna have to try, try. Yeah, it's Subsistence, right. And that's as far as GDQ commentary goes, but I've done things for ESA as well. Ooh. Nice. One led all the way to the bottom. Yeah, but Kaylee rocked that. She didn't need me. She did fine on her own with MGS. I was just there for support. Yeah, well you can. You wanted to get up, but Gustavo's currently grooming you. Stuck forever now, Louis. Okay, so it's not pipe number one. Dang, we have so much money. Do they say the numbers on here? Not really, it's just kind of covered in like red rust. Yeah, I think there was someone who was like kind of like a know-it-all about like MGS and they're like, no, it's not. Uh, it's like, it's okay. <laughs> you can make mistakes, you're not perfect and that's fine. You're trying to like also speed run the game. You didn't claim you were, like, a know-it-all about everything MGS-related and everything you said was, like, 100% accurate. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got the item now. It's power Soul. Okay, what's Power Soul? Like parasol, like an umbrella. Power soul. Ooh. Did it say something near death? Hold up. I wonder if that doesn't consist as battle type. Let's see weapons. Power up when near death. This might be good with our cover build, Tifa. Your Tiger Fang is a normal double links. No links, but you do have double. But we do lose attack. And attack percent. I'm curious what this power up is though. And how has it affected? So we can't use destruct anymore. That's the only shame here, but we can... We can move things around though. Materia. Tifa. Uh, rearrange. Arrange. Let's exchange. Where are we, Tifa? Okay. But the thing is, is that... Here's the question though, if your add materia status is destruct but on armor, what does that really mean? Because I feel like that doesn't apply, because armor is the only one that now has a linked stat. Speedrunners, no, I'm sure. But I don't necessarily need it to know every speedrun strat, I'm just trying to figure things out on my own. Maybe it absorbs and gives HP. It means it's immune against death sentence, okay. So that's not exactly what we have in mind here. That's not gonna work out for us. That's the only disadvantage here, is now we can no longer add the destruct magic, but this might be the chance for us. Cloud doesn't even have anything like that. We might have to come back to this in a bit. 
Steel. Long range. Cover. Now we have elemental. This is on our armor. It's not even on our weapon. But this protects against fire because I know we're dealing with dragons. Yeah, it is really good. Uh, that's why I'm kind of a little heartbroken here that my links right now are in my arm armor and not my weapon. This added is really good, but. I don't know if I, like, it's not like I'm trying to protect against like petrify or frog or whatever. Okay, let me just put some summons for now. I'll figure it out. That sounds awesome, Louis. That sounds great. You should definitely go. Killed your first one yesterday? How are you enjoying Dragon's Dogma? Okay. Chat, I might need like a minute or two break here. I'm feeling a little cold and I kind of want to put an extra layer on. And maybe just like take a moment, rest my... <clears throat> head for like two seconds and then come back to play some more. Just have a tiny bit of a headache today. All right, so our skill's not gonna make sense here, but we can still attack. Um, Tifa, however, is protecting against fire damage, which is great, but we're gonna steal with her. Vincent is gonna death blow. Oh, so close. Oh, I thought she could steal. We still haven't used the other gold arm right, so we need to actually swap to that as well. I don't know if we can manipulate this thing. You level 25, 24-ish and your pawn has some Meister skills? Awesome. This one's oh, mine. nice! We got another gold armlet. Perfect. Alright, Vincent. Somehow the newcomer to the party is doing all the damage. Incredible. Alright, number three. Number three doesn't seem to lead us anywhere cool, so let's try number four. Or, I think I can't. I think I was trying to go to number five. I don't know if I went into number four or number five. I can't tell. I guess we'll find out now. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe number three is fine. I think I went five. Okay, we'll try four. Burn them. This is your punishment. This is your punishment. Yeah, I mean, I would not be surprised that Capcom did borrow a lot of its knowledge from Monster Hunter to work into the combat of Dragon's Dogma. No, see, I think I went through four. I definitely didn't go through five. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna find this last pipe, Louis, and then I'll, I'll take a little break here. Monster Hunter came before Dragon's Dogma, so... Fair though, since your experiences are with Dragon's Dogma first. Okay, now I think I went through 5-5. Five five. 
Wait, what? And what's pipe three? I feel like I've been duped. I'm pretty sure I went through the right pipe. Then maybe I didn't go down four? Okay, let's try three anyways. No big deal. This is number three, for sure. Alright, no so number five is the one we haven't taken. Did you say that Monster Hunter was the first Souls like before there was a Souls like? I mean if I just want to go off the basis that like literally you can you have to claw group to play that game, maybe. But I think Monster Hunter relies more on resourcefulness and like actual monster knowledge than just like... There is a get good element of the game, but there's more to it than just the Souls games. They're very fun though. Don't get in my way. We should be able to do 1,000 damage. Oh, I should try to steal something here. Yeah, I, we really have a good team to crush the dragons. Speaking of stuff. We do have some gold armlets. So like my platinum only has two slots. This probably solves a lot of our problems. Gold armlet. Now we have two more material slots. And Vincent. This is even better. And it has two link slots. If we face more dragons, this could be really good for us to get equipment for our entire party. Um, materia, clouds. Like, we can at least, like, level things, like... I don't know. Like, it, it, would, it wouldn't... It wouldn't be bad to be leveling up added effect and destruct, even if we can't use it the same way I would like to. How do I go into this pipe? Like, it's really hard. I don't- I- Am I sure that I'm going into four or five? Because it looks like I'm going into five. Maybe it's four that's the one I haven't been in. It's really hard to, like, actually land into that pipe. For assist in the world, I know you can get a pointer on top of your heads, so you know. Oh, why is that off? You're. That's a really good point. I didn't even realize why has this been off. So this one just tells me where our exits are, but it doesn't tell me anything about these pipes in particular. Are we going to four now? I don't even know. It's not showing arrows. It showed the arrows for the exits. <laughs> nice one, Tifa. Tifa really isn't taking damage.
Oh, finally. Okay, we're in the right pipe. We did it. <gasps> oh, materia! Hell yeah! That's pretty awesome. Nice, another all. That's that's really good. Yes, it's modded assets. Um, I do recommend it. I need to actually like make a command for the mods so that you're aware of them. But I'm using Seventh Heaven, and there's all these SYW mods like unified spell textures, unified UI, field textures, battle textures, mini game textures. Um, and Cosmos Gaia improves like the overworld and how nice the world texture is. Um, and then there's FMVs and that's it. <laughs> the mod ma- 7th Heaven is the mod manager. Well, I'll see if I can find some more armlets here, the dragons, but I want to take a little break first. Before we continue. I said I was going to do something, I can't remember what it was. Yeah. Bye, Kaylee. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good day yourself. Been looking to revisit this game. So also, um, here, let me, let me make a quick mod list on my bot so people know, so I don't have to like break it down for people all the time. Um, let's see, commands. Then we're going to duplicate this one. We're gonna edit this. Mods. I don't know if this is not a duplicate command, we'll see. Or we can do FF7. Let's see. Chat, I had to send my my nice matcha ducky keyboard in to get the multi-press problem fixed. I'm so sad I'm using an old keyboard. I'm heartbroken. It just types differently. It's all weird. Alright, um... I'm gonna create a screenshot of this, actually. And then we're maybe gonna upload this to Imager. You have the same Maja Ducky. I love it so much and I'm missing it. I even had like MX silver keys because they type really silently. But I had some issues with the keyboard and I kind of wanted to... I'm using my keyboard to type. <laughs> I wanted to um, at least try and get it fixed before my warranty like ran out. I sent it in yesterday and I'm heartbroken. Okay. So now we can share this. All right, can someone try exclamation FF7 as a command? All right, that imager link should take you to the exact list of mods I'm using. All right, so at least you can kind of see what we're doing. If it's grayed out, it's probably not in use. Yeah, no problem, Ass. It's, I've been meaning to make that for a long time, so it's just a good reminder now for me to do that. I'm gonna put it in my title as well. Can't get your USB gamepad to work with this game. I use my PlayStation controller and it works really fine. I'm um, sorry you're having troubles with it though. Okay, chat. Give me like five minutes to take a brief break. I recommend you also take a break if you need to. Grab yourself a drink, get comfy, you name it. Um, and we'll be back shortly to maybe farm some dragons and continue on with exploration of this mountain. All right. So see you, see you in five. Enjoy the world music in the meantime.
I remember what I had to go do. I was gonna put like another layer of clothing on because it was feeling really cold. It's still cold in Sweden. I can't wait for spring. Like, it wasn't even that bad yesterday. It was like seven Celsius. I was like, oh my God. But it was cloudy and it kind of felt a little cold. But like the inside of my house, is still gonna feel cold until like we finally start getting some like spring weather here. Um, and we're going back into like zeros and negatives this weekend. It sucks. I just want it to be spring already. How is it not spring March 28th? I have to like go through this for like another month. Yeah, second winter time. We call it winter spring or yeah, winter spring in Sweden when we literally experience like a day of like nicer weather and then it's just like snow like the day afterwards. It's the worst. I am so done with it. I can't wait for warmer days. Like I think we have Well, it's gonna get some nice and warm this weekend and then it's gonna like plunge into snow next week. Next week is gonna be cold, like two Celsius, negative two, negative one, one. So we're getting like nicer weather for a little bit this week and then back into winter. Hey, Larvex, it's going great. I'm having a really good time with Fast 7. How are you doing? Your wife is hot blooded and I'm always cold and she's always hot, oh no. It doesn't work out well for each other, like being around each other. You can like steal warmth off of your wife. Sounds like what we had last week. I hope weather gets better for you soon. Hi, Carmeg as well. So we're gonna try and see if we can get some more dragons here to farm, because the gold armlets are gonna be so helpful, especially since we have many, many characters to equip. Um, 
Otherwise, we're just gonna proceed forward. Where my magic go? This is something I have a problem with in the game sometimes. Like, I'll D-pad once, and then it will go two slots down. The sense here. And I actually lose so much time just, like, trying to... Like, go back to the right menu, and then they have time to build ATB while I'm, like, figuring that out. Well, have them for long? I don't know, because, like, they're such a big upgrade for most of my characters. I can at least, like, try and farm one more. And you're always shaking? I can relate to that. I also get very easily pulled. Is I don't like artificial air, like, at me. Like, I don't mind if the room is cool, but if it's, like, blowing at me, like, I don't like that. The only time I'm okay with air blowing at me is if I'm actually really, really hot. But then I get cold really fast. So it's, like, great when you're feeling it, like, momentarily, and then you're like, no, I'm done with this. But the movement of air at me makes me so cold. Cosmos made two other good mods, Cosmos FMV and Cosmos Limit Break. FMV changes character development preferred style and higher res. Limit Break makes the background fit widescreen, but you'll probably have to refit your overlays. I'm actually okay with the retro feel of the game, but I might check out the FMV one then. Because I think um, that could be really cool. But the retro screen is kind of awesome. It still gets that nostalgia rather than like widescreen fit, you know? Looks like I still have some work to do. I don't think we're gonna get any dragons. Yo, Chokamog leveled up. Let me do a quick uh, materia check here. So, HP plus is a 3 out of 5. Odin is new. Okay. Titan is also new. Destruct is also new. Added effects needs a lot of time, but it has one star in it. Well, I guess they all by default have one star. Manipulate needs a lot. Sense also needs a lot. Okay, what about Tifa? Her cover is three out of five. That's great. What does it mean? Okay, so here's another question. When materia is being upgraded, or, like, what is being upgraded as we go higher? Because I know sometimes it's like, oh, you can do multiple actions with the materia, but like, what does cover benefit from if it's leveled up? Long Rage still has a long way to go. Steel still has a long way to go. Counter attack is getting there. Shiva is three out of five. Removes getting there. Fire is almost maxed. Elemental, it's halfway. Usage percentage increase, so like, there, so it goes from 60% to like 70 or 80 or something like that. Okay, I see. The percentage of HP that is plus does increase, I see. Okay, thank you. I guess I haven't been paying attention to the stat upgrades, like what it was before to what it is now. Like, no combat at all? I found a dragon! Maybe we should buy time for Tifa to steal. I like that hit Tifa because she has fire elements on her armor, and she has zero damage. That was easy. Nice, I got it. I'm guessing you can't steal multiple times in the fight. You're gonna hit Tifa again? Nice! Beautiful zero. Cool. Yeah, like, one thing I didn't know last time, it's like, sometimes you just want to have a materia equipped, even if it's not something you want in your outfit. Because you're leveling up that material with the AP that you get from each combat. 
I didn't realize it worked that way, so I was like, oh, okay, we gotta be leveling up all of our materia as much as we can. I mean, I can see its uses. It's definitely very handy. I guess I have no choice. Dude, Vincent's voice is so cool. Let's move on. Oh! We emerged on the other side of the map. I guess I can just save here, though. Okay. I remember there being at least one red dot here. Beach. This forest. I think this place is huge. I don't know if we've ever faced a jellyfish like this before. This big. That's not work. Shoot it. When it fails, just shoot it. Chili fishing. I'm trying not to pull the camera out too much, but it's kind of hard. For Vega, huh? Punch yourself. Very mild flavor, interesting texture. Hmm. How do you eat it? How do you serve it? I didn't even know what a potion was, and my English was bad when I played this first RPG as a kid. Never got far on your first try. Um, I know a lot of people in your shoes that just like, because they didn't understand English, they just like tried to fumble their way through the game. Uh, I know a lot of people also picked up English by just like playing games, trying to understand how things worked. Here's more jellyfish. Let's see if we can at least manipulate one. Sleep huh? Can we not manipulate them at all? Oh, heck, it's dead. Did you just bought some jellyfish loins, slabs, and chips and heat them in the microwave? Interesting. So it wasn't like a dish or like any particular dish, it was like a snack. Alright, let's see, where are we now? We're going around. This place is huge. It's a, definitely a town though. Only way to choke over here. What are you? Oh, they're ugly. Belcher Task. What a name. That was easy. I stole Remedy. <gasps> Dead. 
death blow healed it? You see that? Okay, we didn't learn anything there. Oh no, maybe it's not death blow. I have to see what's attached to his weapon. Let's see. Hey, Morgan. What do you have, Vincent? What's making you heal these enemies? Fire. Okay. That's what it is. I think this didn't do anything. Oh, it's a poison that was doing it? But I haven't noticed I'm poisoning enemies, are you sure? So it wasn't the fire? Hmm, I see. This place is new. What's that? It does look like weird machinery. A rusty old rocket? What's that doing here? I thought Shinra hadn't built its first rockets yet. Oh, they're working on it. Hello? Would you like a drink? Sure. Have you met the captain yet? He's the face of this village, so hey, you should drink. probably go and see him. Would you like... No. no. I guess that's the whole idea. That's too bad. If you have a drink, the bartender will talk to you about this. It's about the village. Town you should talk to the captain. He's the one in charge here. Who's have him? you seen a man in a black cloak? Have you seen a man in a black cloak? A man in a black cloak? Hmm. No, can't say I have. Who's the captain? The captain was a pilot. So that's pretty when good. Shinra was still interested in their space Agree program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut. But. Well, there was a bit of a problem. Uh, he's been living in obscurity ever since. Aww. Still dreaming Shame. about flying off into space. I doing, Weaves? A drink? Mm, okay. Who's in the bathroom there? See that? Someone not having a good time in the bathroom. This guy eat. <laughs> Welcome to the harass, Shanghai. Harassing him. It's 100 gill a night. Will you be staying? No. Nope. Um, well, hold on. I'm just gonna check around mm. this. Is this the original or just a copy? I just have to know. It's keeping me awake at night. We'll never know with that art piece. Over here. Little in. Welcome. It's okay. Let's, let's take a chance. Thank you. Take a chance to heal. I literally have like fears that one day I'm gonna be needed for something important and then I'm gonna be like this guy having a hard time. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and people are gonna be looking for me and be like, I'm dying, please leave me alone. That rusted out rocket is all that remains of the Shinra space program. Hmm. I've seen like, cause I played a tiny bit of Crisis Core. I remember seeing, I think it was in Crisis Core. There was like a rocket model that you could find at Shinra headquarters. Jeez, it's so boring. There's got to be something to do. She says as she washes the dishes. Still nothing to do. Still Dang, people here are like miserable. They're bored as hell. That rusted out rock. This used to be a launch pad for SEMA rockets. That leaning rocket there, that's SEMA 26. 
It never got off the ground, though. That's awesome. Welcome. This is an item store. No way! I just happen to be wanting to buy items. Ooh, okay. Now we can start buying material chop. Barrier. Exit. Time. Easy. We test them out before we like really figure out what we're gonna do. We need some tents. Ten tents will do. Use a few more hypers. Some more ethers. Phoenix Downs. They're really not that expensive. I think I'm okay with everything else. I don't know if there's anything I really want to sell. Maybe the silver. No, I have no idea. I ain't gonna sell anything just yet. I'm okay on money, anyways. The only thing my dithering old husband does is stare at that darn rocket all day long. Her dithering husband. Into reading books, yeah. Show them the way. Let's see. I need to think of something amusing. Figure something what? else? Doesn't look like it. Okay, what about this house? Hmm. Ooh, item. A drill arm. I wonder if that's for Barrett. There's like literally a vehicle in here. It's probably for Barrett. Back door too. Ooh. Is that a plane? There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. Neat. Wish we had one of these. Yeah, I kind of want one though. Maybe we can borrow it? Tifa! Called stealing. Um, may I help you? No, it's okay. We're just looking. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. He should be in his rocket. I'm Shara. And you? Cloud. Tifa. Nice to meet you. Vincent. I'm with the. My apologies. That is no longer relevant. I was gonna say Turks. Hmm. You're not with Shinra? I thought you were here to discuss restarting the space program. <laughs> They're gonna the do new what now? Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been restless all morning. Rufus? Interesting. We meet again, Rufus. All right, let's go find the captain. Here we go. a regular name but isn't it always like that though i feel like they always have like very average joe names what do you think it should be simon oh i just like really returned back to town from the other end it was the guy on the toilet all along <laughs> okay. nice chin run time 26 Percival or Archibald. <laughs> okay, okay, that's fair. Also, my only association with Rufus is the naked mole rat from Kim Possible. So I will forever think of that Rufus. There's a captain. <gasps> no, wait, Sid! What do you want? Oh, this has to be the introduction of Sid! Captain. captain! Well, that's yours truly, of course. Oh, hell yeah. Hi, Cornelius. The name's Sid. Nice. Everyone calls me Captain. Though. It didn't even occur to me. 
So what do you want? We heard Rufus is coming. Can we borrow the tiny Bronco? We tell us about the rocket. Hey, not bad for a kid. Yeah, he's 32 right, years of age. Here it is. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technology during the meaningless war, right? They might be peddling Mako now, but back then they were a weapons manufacturer. Of course well, they were. Well, in the middle of all of that, they still they created dealing a rocket weapons. engine. We all went nuts at the thought of going up into space. Our dreams grew bigger and bigger. Now they don't even care about they that? They poured stupid amounts of cash into the budget. Or they're they trying to find an escape plan if Earth prototype. destroys. And this right here is the final model. Shinra 26. It's stochastic. They chose the finest pilot in all of Shinra. No, no world. Me! I mean, you need to use your best, don't you? At last, we came to the launch day. Everything was going perfect. Look at Sid reminiscing to a stranger. But because of that dumbass Shira, mm. the launch was a failure. Then the penny pinching started. The upshot is Shinra retired the space program. After they told me the future was space, it got all of my damn hopes up. As soon as they figured out they could turn Mako into money, it was all over. They didn't even so much as look at space travel again. Money, Bula, Dinero, that's all that mattered to them in the end. Classic corporation. They reduced my dream to a bunch of numbers. Look at this rust bucket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it leans a little more. At this rate, I don't know which of us will buy the dust first. My only Dude, hope is you're 32 years old. Hi, Marius. Welcome in. My oh, we just met Sid. We also met Valentine today. I only Okay. Why does he not want to talk anymore? So what do you want? We heard Rufus is coming. Yeah, it must be about restarting the space program. A young president. <laughs> My that's time what has we come. <laughs> he has dreams too. So what do you want? We can't. You're out of your goddamn mind! That's one of my most cherished possessions! So no, you can't borrow it. Shira told us we can. So what do you want? We can we You're out of your goddamn So no! I guess hassling him isn't gonna make it happen any faster. Maybe we have to go find Rufus then. I don't know if there's anything else really for us here. Help us push a story along, please. Also, I need to kick your butt. Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to be waiting on now. Strikes again. <laughs> when did we last save? I have no idea. I feel like I was actively saving and then I have no idea when I last saved now. Rip. It's like we need to expect that one of these happens in a single session. Yeah, like, ah, uh, internally. I missed my keyboard. I can't wait to get my keyboard back. This keyboard sucks. No! No! Hey, Silo! 
Happy Thursday. I'm doing great. How about you? Guess we can't use Vincent. Because he's kind of useless against them the with the poison on his weapon. Once more. We can do that, though. Yeah, poison. All right. Nice, Tifa. Dang, 1,800 damage is a lot. Great stream today. Thank you, Zyla. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, we didn't learn anything from the jellyfish fi fights anyways. You know? Yeah, I, that's what I'm asking myself as well, Simon. What? What are these names? Like, every time I come across, like, an enemy, they have some of the What's strangest that? names I've seen. She's great, PV. She's, she's a absolute babe. A rusty old... I guess I don't really need to ask for all the information again, but I could at least rest. Welcome. It's... Thank you. Thank you. On your Velcher to-do list? <laughs> like, I wonder if Shinra named them because they have some of the doofiest names. Okay, so we need to go to the item store and buy the items that we bought. Have to reshop. Missing her limit break? Ah, uh, she's so good. I mean... I only Welcome. ever do the yes, but I haven't store. tried anything more than that. But I, I, I do want to experiment because it sounds like it's fun. Get two more just to guess. Okay, just in case the game bugs out again. Hey, Zikri! Happy Thursday to you too! Hopping in and say I'm looking forward to your long weekend. Easter weekends? I forget. It's gonna be Easter for everyone. Alright. Let's save. I think we'll lose this progress again. I talk to Sid now. Again. Listen to his breakdown about how his dreams never came true. Sleeping in on Friday and Monday with a blessing. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Anyone else off for Easter? I really forgot that that was this weekend. I've just been so wrapped up. Even though like I literally went grocery shopping yesterday and everything is like covered in Easter like stuff. Totally forgot that it was going on. Well, I guess if he's not gonna give us approval, we're just gonna take the tiny brown car anyways. Oh, can you really not like go here until you interact with his wife or whatever, Shira. I had no idea. Alright, run around. Back to town. You're not off? Sorry, Morgan. Makes you feel any better. I'm also not off. I'll be here streaming. Anyone wants to hang out? I think this is the house here. Okay, spam to the dialogue. There's a Shinra. If you would clap, then hmm. I thought the new prime roof. Okay, here we go. Let's go find Sid. Roof! Huh? It's like almost like that interruption of Ramped. Smack him in the middle of his di dialogue. He's like, You sorry, fool. And then I'm like, Smack him before he finishes that. He's like, Huh? It's great.
Bear seek seek quest. I don't even know what that's a reference to, but you're not the first person to say that today. Who the hell? We're looking. Captain. The name's. Cue the <laughs> heroic music. Uh, you know, Shinra, they might. Well, Dark Souls 2, when you talk that, to the Emerald Lady to level up Majula. I honestly played Dark Souls 2 them. once, and I don't remember that. At but I'm due for another playthrough. But because of that, yeah, after they. As soon as they figured out. Money, favorite. My favorite line is from the main Look, black in Demon every, Souls. Did, my only hope. May the world be mended. My only, my only hope. I missed the first time because of the ads. So oh, no spiritual. And here I am rushing through the dialogue. Okay, we'll have to say, see what he so has what to say about the other stuff. We heard Rufus. Yeah, it must be about restarting the space program. A young president. That's what we needed. He has dreams too. So what do you want? We heard Ken. You out of your goddamn mind? That's one of my most cherished possessions. So, so well, we're just gonna go steal it, right? Clearly, that's the solution. If you want, give it to us. We'll just take it. She has four lines of dialogues before the level up menu appears, and if you master them. It becomes bear, seek, seek, blessed. <laughs> okay. I see what you mean. It's like in Dark Souls. Mash of the dialogue, only a few words ever really come through. You get things like very well. And regrettably. Common lines. Cloud? Hey, Shira. Did the captain say anything? Not really. Oh? Oh, here he is. Hey, Shira! What are you, blind? Why not use some initiative and bring our guests some tea? Half-wit! No, wow. Uh, I'm sorry. Sid, you jerk. That's rude. Uh, really, don't mind us. Quiet, bubbly! Sit your ass in the chair and drink your goddamn tea! Ah, damn it! No, I'm just pissed. Jira, I'll be in the backyard tuning up the tidy Bronco. He has anger management. Tea for the guests. Get it done! This is all because his dreams are shattered. Just taking it out on everyone else. <laughs> Poor Shara. Sorry, this is our fault. No, no, it's always like this. Why are you tolerating it? Your patience is commendable. Well, he's like that because I was clumsy. I'm the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? I mean, in relevance to kids. Playing RG hey, JRPG 32 is ancients. You work like a snail. No. Even the moon will take off waiting around for you. Sid. I'm. I'm sorry. How much longer are you gonna be checking those damn oxygen tanks? Shira, being cautious is all well and good, but it's pointless to go on checking them. They would rupture if hell did freeze over. But. No buts! You're not stupid, so step it up! Dude, stop telling her how to do her I'm job. I'm sorry. I need to kick Sid in the butt. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. I like that it still looks like a rusted tin bucket. We are so Even proud to be part of the launch of Shinra 26. Preparations are complete. All that's left is lift off! Me too, Simon. Yeah. Me too. Back in no time. All right, Captain. Fly our dreams into space. Feels like space. Sid's always a pilot in any of these like games that we play. Thanks, guys. Safe journey. Gage is clear. 
Jinro 26, ready for the liftoff. Wow, he doesn't have a co-pilot going into space. Engine pressure rising. Who's your Jinro suit? 26, three minutes to liftoff. Beginning countdown. Five. Finally, I'm getting the hell off this planet. I'm done with what Earth. Happened? I'm done with his people. Shira. What'd you just say? Well, which one of those idiots is it? I don't know. Captain, it's Shara. Don't worry about me. Please go ahead with the launch. Shara? What did you do today? I was concerned. The results from the oxygen tank test weren't satisfactory. No, oh, you fool! When this thing takes off, it's gonna be so hot in there, there ain't gonna be shit left to you! Dang. You're gonna be buried to a crisp. You're gonna die! She's willing to risk her life for this. Hi, Isis. It's okay. As long as I can fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Really willing to throw her life away almost for this done. launch. The starting any second. Starting to get hey, wait! She was still in there! So he does care about her, even though he's a brute? Shit, Shira, you goddamn fool! You wanna make me a murderer? Daddy. Is that you, Shira? Shira, hurry up! You're gonna die! Dang. No, this is so stressful. Uh, wh what am I? What am I supposed to do? Can you control him? No. Oh man, the moon, outer space, my dreams Dream for one human being. Oh, it didn't exactly go very far. Oh. <laughs> he did launch for like a few seconds. He did see some space. <laughs> Thank you for the show. Hmm. He threw the emergency shutdown switch to save my life. Oh, okay. After that, the space program suffered cutbacks and the launch was canceled. It's my fault. He didn't fulfill his dream. That's why. It's all right. I have a debt to pay. They're both idiots. Shira, you still haven't served him tea. Uh, I I'm sorry. Hey, Amber. Sit out already, or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? Well, man, that was ten sash Wi-Fi. <laughs> They're late. Where's Rufus? He put his foot up on the table. Hey, hey! Long time no see. Oh, now we got so Paul Sid, here. how you been? Thank you for thirty-five months, Loki. Well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you allowed figuring on keeping me waiting? I crit. I'm starving. So? You too? When's the space program starting up again? Hey, hey! I don't know. The president's outside. So why don't you ask him? This feels like <laughs> Good for lots. nothing, fat bastard. No change there then, huh? Don't say fat! <laughs> Ooh, hey, hey! Tea! Wait, Can I have some too? With lots of sugar and honey and oh. oh yeah, 
Don't forget the lard! Excuse me, why are you having lard with your tea? That is extremely problematic. How's Final Fantasy? Really good. There's been some new characters entering the story. We got Vincent Valentine. We got Sid now. It's been really, really cool. Ooh. We've been leveling up our characters. We changed our builds. Um, we might backtrack a little bit today as well. Well, at first though, read. I haven't read Sid's description in my little manual here. I think it's finally about time that we met Sid Highwinds, job pilot, age 32. Oh, a spoiler. Weapon spear. He's 5'8". All right. Sid is a tough-talking, warm-hearted old pilot who hasn't forgotten his dreams. There's no better pilot by air or sea. He believes someday he'll end or fly to the ends of the universe with his handmade spear and knowledge of machinery. He'll throw himself into any attack regardless of the danger. Like, he doesn't, like, even in his, like, drawing, he, like, doesn't even, like, look that old. He's just a blonde dude. He's just some blonde dude. But it's kind of funny that, like, even in this voice mod, they decided to kind of, like, stick with it and, like, give him this, like, old man voice. How's your day, Amber? Hey, hey? Have we met before? Hey, hey! Is the tea ready yet? This guy's obnoxious. With plenty of sugar. Hey, hey, hey. With What's the hey, hey's? Is the space program really the reason why President Rufus is paying us a visit? Probably not. Is the space pro? Hey, hey. Long weekend ahead. Yeah, here Easter weekend for a bunch what of you. The? You got me all excited for nothing. Then what did you come here for? Dude, he's having existential crisis. We need you crisis. to hand over the tiny Bronco. Oh, what? They... We're going after Sephiroth. But it seems we've been searching in the wrong places up until Rufus now. Rufus just coming to take Shinra We think Shinra we know tech. where he's heading. But it means crossing the ocean. That's why we need your plane. Holy shit! <laughs> First the airship, then the rocket, and now the tiny Bronco! Shinra took space away from me. And now it wants to take the sky away from me too! Technically, sky is space. Oh uh, my. You seem to forget it was because of the Shinra company you were able to fly in the first place. She just like trying to you entitled. Well to remember that. What? He's a crap. Uh, um, excuse me. This way. Really? She was just gonna show them the way? Interesting. You wanted to use a tiny Bronco, correct? Yeah. I believe Palmer's going to take it. Maybe you should have a talk with him. I believe... Take my love, take my land, take me where I cannot stand. I don't care, I'm still free. You can't take the sky from me. Why do I have to do this? Yeah, Palmer's I'm head of the space program! We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. Seen you somewhere before. I'm not sure why the dialogue skipped there. I might have pressed uh, something accidentally. I know! The Shinra building! When the president was killed! Yeah? <laughs> Glad that jogged your memory. Nice. We actually have to fight him. Hell yeah. Did we steal anything from him? Nothing worthwhile. Nothing worthwhile. Nice. <laughs> Dude! Dude, he showed us his booty! What are you, five? You know, Shiva will teach you a lesson. A nice, cold lesson. It makes you wonder. This queen will set you right. Wait, why did Let Duff one miss? You. He actually has a decent amount of HP. Mako gun. Let's 
the guard. I'm so surprised that Deathblow is missing. I thought 255 was the most accurate you can get. Your big guard is so helpful in these fights. It's actually <laughs> wild. Why is the Bronco moving? Dude, he almost freaking died. Dude, is he doing like a nana and a boo boo? Are this? Wow. Nice! Someone drove a truck into him! Nice! He actually deserved that. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see that animated in a rebirth. I really wonder what that looks like. It won't stop. Forget about it! Hop on! Whoa! Uh, all right, hang on, everybody! They're literally just on top of the Bronco. With my truck, right, Phoebe? <laughs> it could be worse. Whoa! Whoa! Sid! What? Hop on! What the hell? Imagine this... This... Freaking Bronco oh, making a pass over. Hang on tight, everyone. What the hell is this comedy scene? Shit! The tail's been hit! I guess it's time for an emergency landing. Oh, okay, then. that makes sense. Thank you, Zena. It'll be a big splash. Hang out in your britches. And don't go wet in them! Oh my god, yeah, I've seen the news about Boeing. It's pretty freaking scary. That fizzled out real quick. So you're saying the tiny Bronco won't be flying anytime soon, right? Is he caressing it? Can we use it as a boat? Hell, do whatever you like. Hi, Greg, welcome Sid, back. What will you do now? I don't know. I'm history with Shinra. And I've given up on the village. How about your wife, Shara? Will she be all right? Wife? Don't make me laugh. Just thinking about marrying her gives me the heebie-jeebies. The heebie-jeebies. Okay, what are you so... guys up to? Nothing wrong with We're her. What's wrong with you? Are you Sephiroth. like 12? We'll have to take care of Rufus someday as well. I don't know about any of that, but... Sounds interesting. Sign me up. How about it, everyone? Do whatever you feel is right. Glad to be aboard, shit for brains. <laughs> shit for brains? <laughs> yeah. Anyone going up against Shinra nowadays has got to be a tale short of a play. I like it! So, where are we headed? Rufus was prattling on about following this Sephiroth of yours to the Temple of the Ancients. What? Where's that? Beats me. Jerkface Jr. was saying he'd been searching in the wrong locations and needed my play. So I figure it's gotta be someplace way off. I like Rufus' Jerkface Jr. Let's just head for land and get That's some information. Name. Temple of the Ancients. That name bothers me. How to fly the tiny Bronco. Press the confirm can fly. button to get on. Press the cancel button to get off. Tiny Bronco can cross shallow waters and rivers. Players can get on and off it on the beach. So like here? Where's this place? This place is new. Whoa. Oh yeah, we were like on new land altogether. It's like a whole new island. So is this how you visit island? My god. How big is this game? What the hell? Yeah. I'm not even like... There's still so much to see. 
ちょっと待って、ウェイニューフィー、The Random Japanese。Yeah, I know it's through this long. I just don't know how long this disc is. I don't want to know when the end is either. You see, it gets pretty rough up ahead. We have to prepare a little. This wouldn't be where the Wu Tai are. Really? Well, I don't trust you. Just seems like you're trying to trick us. No, no! It's really, really tough ahead and. Here he comes! Seize him! Shinra. Hey, wait! This isn't him! These guys are. Yuffie? Tell me you didn't. I didn't know, I didn't know! This one has nothing to do with me! This one? Did you just say this one? What so else you was. Up to something. What no. did you do? What should we do? No. Do him in. Don't think. Just so do it. Have I uh, already gone past the point of no return, Gorka? I've locked myself into this. Yeah, I definitely want to go back. I didn't know. I was exploring. I've gone on a side quest. But I can go back then after the side quest is over then. Why do I have no items? all my stuff wait I, I just need to know can I go back because I'll, I'll pull a load then stuff is <laughs> it is a big side quest well it seems What's we're doing it here something's wrong M my materia it's all oh, gone great. <laughs> where's Yuffie oh great Yuffie Oh my god. We've been tricked! She did it again! I'll never forgive her! She Materia wanted her Materia right from the word go! Waiting for us to collect all this Materia and taking Let's it all. After her. Where are we going? Let me save. I'll make a separate save here in case. Yeah, she's good. She's good, Jen. How can we do this without our materia? I feel like I'm like level one again. Why are there beetles and stuff in this area? I feel like it's all gonna be item management at this point. It's a good thing we do have some things that can help us take down enemies, like fire and core and stuff. That will kill you? I'll figure it out. Your blood calls to me! Dang! We'll take a look at our inventory and see what we can do. Well, at least we get Phoenix downs and potions, so I feel like it's just a game of like. managing our. Mm -hmm, our inventory now. What about equips? Okay, they can't take that stuff away from us. But then maybe us having the best equipment possible is good here. Like, raising our defense, for example. And since we don't have to worry about growth, then maybe this is just better. Just go for the things with the better raw stats. You know? 
Like, I can literally just go for Tiger Fang here. And then I don't have to worry, right? Now I'm just playing the best stats game. Yeah, I have uh, I have stuff like that in my inventory already. So maybe arranged by battle. Okay. Okay. I think we'll be okay. No worries. No worries, everyone. We can make it. There's a limit to amount of materials you can steal, so if you know in advance, you can actually left with some materia after this. I did not know this. That's pretty cool. Does that mean she also stole the materia off my, like, other members? Let me see. Like, if I swap out, like, Tifa for, like, Aerith. She doesn't even have any material on her. So right now, it does benefit us to have the strongest characters, right? She's not even long range anymore, so even the order of the party is different. That's gonna be interesting. Let's try out Sid then for some time. Like, I could put them in the back line just to take less damage, but, like, she doesn't even have long range. Oh my- I went okay, Greg, but oh my gosh, it was so tiring. I was so exhausted by the time I got home. Oh, chocobos. Oh, no chocobo lore. But we have Gisol Green some stuff. Her limits? Oh yeah, because, like, she can heal. I'll try these out for a little bit. That's a good point, we still have limits, they can't take that away from us. Whoa, that's a big turtle. I the man to my. Can't even learn anything new because of no enemy skill. Okay. That's interesting. So if you have like just that much materia, you can just be left over with some. Interesting. I don't know, Greg. I guess we'll be finding out this weekend. It's been really just a busy few days for me. Starting with the weekend, so I'm just hoping for some chill time. Even tonight. A chocobo would be really handy here. Hey, PC! Happy Thursday to you, too. The thing is, though, is do I want to get in any more combats than necessary, you know? I feel like it might benefit me... ...to leave this area as fast as possible. Hi, Exuit! Happy Thursday. I know that feeling. I've been there, Morgan. Me too. The combat music is so good. But we are getting quite a bit of, like, items from these uh, combats. So, like, all these Phoenix Downs and stuff are, like, good for farming. I don't even know if we can, like, lure chocobos without said chocobo lure. Let's go under the bridge. Um, it was sunny and now it's like really cloudy, so yeah, pretty, uh, eh, weather. We're doing okay damage. Like, it's not bad. But the nice thing is it just makes it like a menu spam at this point. I can literally every combat I go into just go into attack. And still come out, okay. Alright. 
Under the bridge we go. Yeah? Hopefully you don't get drenched, Greg. Wow, it's raining a lot of places today, huh? Oh, we should be attacking the things facing away from us. That would make more sense. Okay, well, we pretty much did that. Yeah, Thunder is pretty comfy. I like a good rainy day as well. Not when I'm maybe, like, getting super drenched in it, though. Yeah, it's like, it's... It helps you go to sleep really well as well. Like, I like to take naps when it rains, because it's just... Really, really good vibes. So, hold on. This section from earlier? Okay, it all meets up in the same area. Alright, that's good. Good to know. This works as well. Okay, what do we got? Vincent can take out the back row. Cloud can work on the front row. Sid can also work on the front row. Vincent, back row. Front row. Front row. You love running in the rain. How is it for slipperiness? Nice damage, Vincent. Jeez, okay. There's a lot of damage. The rain brought some more flowers blooming. I think the dogwoods are beginning to bloom here now. Oh, that's nice. I can't wait for spring to go full in fact. Uh, Full, full effects, that's what I was trying to say. Very soon here. Um, let's see, status. Okay. Let's use some items here to heal them up. It's usually not just slippery, okay. I mean, I know people go running in, like, snowy conditions, too, which is wild. You like running in the forest? That sounds really nice. You ever have to really be worried about anything running in the forest? Materia? There's nothing in the Materia menu. This is the best, really. I think we found something. Ah! Uh, 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 okay. Is there more to this world to like, like there's just what, the tip of this area? There's something else there in the distance, okay. All right, let's look around. Wow, I didn't think we were gonna find this place. Well, well, long time no see. What have you been up to? Uh, what was your name again? That's actually kind of fitting that she's just speaking Japanese. Well... That's kind of cool. I like the fact that they just like decided Japanese is like what they were gonna go with. The For some life of these voiceovers of flows like water. Its source, the ocean of life, a source to which it must return. This is the historical town of Wutai. Please enjoy the unusual sights it has to offer. Something tells me they'll know a little the bit about Mako and stuff here. I just want to know why they refused. I guess they understand stuff about Mako if they refused uh, Shinra from mining Mako here, opening a reactor. Look at this place! It's just full of cats! Amazing! Look, there's even a top area for more cats. 
Oh no. Oh no, the cat's walled me in. Oh no. This is like having a cat stay on your lap and then knowing you can't get up anymore. That's such a good house. Yeah. Could be my house. It got me stuck in the this corner. Is my house. No one is allowed in. Uh, Yuffie. I'm gonna get into your house, one way or another. Yuki's at my mom's. I saw her yesterday. She's probably coming over next weekend, though. There might be secrets in uh, some of these houses. I'll take a look. Sorry, but our stock is completely sold out at the moment. What are those, you ask? Uh, no, those are, uh, samples. Yeah, they're samples. Come back later, okay? Of course they won't be selling to anyone here. Sorry, foreigner. but what are those? Sample! Look at all these weapons. I'm sorry. You see... No, forget it. Stop by again later. I want a weapon. Give me weapons. Hello there. Did you know there used to be a water god in Wutai? Yeah? They say the god was like a huge snake. We live in a world of Mako now, so not many believe in stuff like that anymore. Still, it's said that the water god scales, and a materia containing the god's power Ooh. can be found in Wutai and the lands beyond. Hello? They say we pretty live bad in a if I still. killed it, right? Can like, I'd be no better than Shinra, right? Just get the power. Oh, is that who I think it is? What the heck are the Turks doing here? You! I could ask what you the same you question! Doing here? Uh, never mind that. I like the turtle walk. You must that. be all out of luck running into the Turks again. All right. Prepare yourself. Yeah, it feels like they're just chilling everywhere we go, just like gambling or hanging out. I like former Turk Elena. fights, current group of Shut Turks. Shut up, will ya? Sir? Remind me, why did we come all the way out here in the middle of nowhere? Ooh. We're on vacation. We're trying to forget oh, about really? work. The timing exactly. of them on vacation. <laughs> and you're ruining it. B but... Even the booze will go sour. Sorry. Drink up, rude. How long have we been a team? Hey, being a Turk's tough at times, but after all said and done, I'm glad to be one. And Dude, I got to meet a bunch of chill. weirdos like you. <laughs> Drink up, Rude. Being a Turk's, and I got to meet. Let's see what Rude has. To the Turks, to Reno, cheers. To the. Huh. Looks like it's your lucky day. Now get out of my sight. Next time we meet, I won't be so forgiving. Nice. I like it, like, it's like basically the comic relief that like, how many times have we bumped into the Turks and they've like, done nothing to us? They're just doing big chillin'. To the Turks. Yeah, I mean, that's very relatable. They, they're just like, you know, Elena, you're not being paid right now to do work. Does it really matter if we bumped into them? Like, whatever. Big chill time. We've got all sorts here. See anything you like? And they actually are willing to sell me stuff. Oh. Cool. Well, we might as well buy some of these. Buy dexterity. Wait, what is this? What does dexterity give us in this game again? I might want to buy some more. I'll have to think about it. I'm sorry. I know the sign outside this material, but there's almost none left in Utai. This has been a backwater village ever since the Shinra Company. Well, you know, if we had a lot of material, I really think Utai could flourish like before. Speed, so like ATB boost. Oh, I have material.
Her ATB now, huh? <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> She's like freaking materia sensor. She has like this little thing that spins around and goes boop. And like she like zeroes in, takes her material. She's just been accompanying us this entire time so we can get all this material in the world so she could be like, yoink, mine now. Material hunter indeed. Lord Godo resides in the mansion up ahead. He was once an incredibly powerful man. But now all he does is sleep. What? Where's Yuffie? She's a real character, that one. She'll barge into other people's houses uninvited and everything. And then she'll find a good place to hide and stay there. She is still a child after She's all. She's 16. Lord Godo resides. He was one. What? And then she'll find. Lord Godo. Oh, I didn't mean one... to talk what? to him a third time. And then she'll find a good. Okay. Let's see who this little girl is. I guess her cap is now 64. Guess what? Guess what? That huge statue standing proud on the mountain? It's Dajia. This year you can go all the way to the top. But it's real dangerous, so be careful if you try that. A girl with materia? Uh, nope. Nobody's climbed Dajia for some time now. Alright. Let's go see Dajia. Oh, crap. This is gonna be dangerous, right? Oh, it's just bugs. That's fine. Why are they so colorful? Said he's useless. We got all spun up. So he smokes cigarettes, huh? So different paths. We go this way. I feel like this has something to do with something that I'm not familiar with just yet. Yeah, do you want to put points into bad movie night? Now's your chance. Few days remaining until April. Make bad movie night happen for April. We've been voting for it on Discord. We'll choose a movie hopefully by tomorrow. Two thousand points. They got part with a day. Oh, what the heck is this? That did not. Hardly and take any damage from Sith Spear. Why are these enemies so weird? Yeah, so, um, what we try and do, Quack Attack, is every month we try and have a community goal to pop points, channel points, to make it happen. And if met, the following month we'll watch Bad Movie Night, a bad movie in Discord. And right now, our contenders are... Let me see. Um, because I can't remember the full list off the top of my head. Uh, are Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Wanted. The Last Airbender. The M. Night Shyamalan movie. Um, Samurai Cop, Cop. Showgirls and Hackers. And this list was shared on Discord, but I'll also share it right now here in chat. I can tell you there's a lot of people who've been wanting The Last Airbender to win. Because bad and the last airbender TV show just came out So yeah, if you want to vote there's the poll I kill more nice to see you Medikai. Hello still morning in my time zone Oh, uh, well, I will be shifting to Daylight savings the 31st So we'll be a little closer Neither of you. I've never seen any of these movies. I've seen five minutes of The Last Airbender and I dropped it. You voted Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> Sour Cup Culture, they're both absurd. I couldn't just pick one. Well, the good thing is that we aren't just doing one bad movie night. You know, there'll be multiple months we could do bad movie nights. But definitely vote 
And then you can join the Discord and join us for that. I'll let you know when it happens. Um, also, 2,000 points a day, you gotta drop channel points to make it happen. We're a few days away from ending March. Happy Thursday to you too, as well, Kilmore. Trying to save up for the postcard? Absolutely fair, Greg. How would I live with only 521k channel points? No way, Vorpal. That many? I understand you don't want to part with it. I get it. That's a lot of channel points. Alright, let's go up here. Okay, we have choices. Let's go to the right first. Okay. I feel like we need to come back when we understand what these statues are. Now I feel like we're just going sightseeing. Oh, that's a new one in the back. Some of this stuff looks like it's straight out of Bug's Life. Did anyone else get that feeling? Or was it just bugs? Or ants? I can't remember. I got wild up. Not good. Oh, it missed. Nice. Yeah. The one that just dreams of becoming a beautiful butterfly. the more normal one. Ants was the slightly weird one. Bug's Life is cute. I don't know if I would recommend Ants. It's a bit of a weird watch. Alright. Tunnel? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Dragoon Lance? Yo, is this for Sid? Sin! <gasps> you have a nice upgrade! Amazing. Oh my god, look how many slots the freaking thing has. Too bad we don't have any materia, right? This is on fire. Uh, I don't know if there was a cartoon version of Seven Samurai, and I don't know if I'm familiar with that. Look, you can see Wutai from here. Yeah, all these slots for all the materia you don't have. Oh, it is, really? I didn't know that. There's a Bug's Life on PS1, just check. I think someone actually did a speedrun of it recently. It's very really cute. Nice. Um, I'm guessing there's nothing I can do now here, because... Explored, and I've come to a dead end. Sid should do a lot more damage now. Oh, his Dragoon Lens looks so cool. Nice, I got the wrong order all wrong. So, I'm playing this on Steam, H2O. And I'm using a whole bunch of mods. If you type in exclamation FF7, you'll be able to see what it is. This is the 60 FPS mod that you're noticing. There you go. That has a list of mods I use for my version of um, my mod loader, essentially, for the Steam version of Final Fantasy 7. Okay, I guess we're going down because I didn't find anything here. Oh, these are new. It's just exclamation FF7. It's already been linked in chats. Um, there's an image so you can see which ones they are. Okay, hopefully he'll do all the work. Nice. Berserk mode is actually really helpful in this case. 
So whenever Vincent fills ATB, he'll just do whatever he wants, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I've never heard of Seven Samurai at all. Like, this is the first time ever hearing of it. Let's see. We just got something. Called the like, Lunar Curtain. Cast shells on allies. Yeah, I guess uh, I've been missing out on a lot of the classics. Right, let's go find Yuffie and see what this mansion is about. So I think one of our characters is Fury. Yeah. Tranquilizer for this. Good movie nights? Did it worth a, worth a watch? I don't remember much, but I remember enjoying it. So yeah, I have no idea what this movie is. Interesting. That five tiered structure over there is called the Pagoda of the Five Masters. The first four masters have the ability of power, speed, magic, and martial arts. The fifth and final master is proficient in all four disciplines combined. Did you know that the people of Futai have worshipped Da Zhao and the Water God since antiquity? Legend tells us that the village has been protected by Da Zhao, the Water God, and the five masters since time immemorial. Even so, we were It does give those kind of vibes. Battle. Bomber, I suppose right? legend is just that. A legend. That five two. Okay, we're here. That five. That five. All right, let's go here. We'll head to the pagoda last. See what's in these rooms. Oh, we can go in. Let's move. Let's rest up. Oh, nice. We can just rest for free. That's kind of nice. It's three and a half hours? It's bandits? I see. That's amazing. That's such a long movie. It's actually intimidating. Let's see what's in this room. There's a guy sleeping over here. I should go see him. What do you want? I found Godo. Don't have anything much, but uh, should be able to relax here. Make yourselves at home. Wow, how hospitable. Doesn't know who I am, and they're like, yeah, you can stay here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just continue sleeping. It's shiny. It's so sparkly. Everything here is so sparkly. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate the subscription. Thank you. <laughs> Please enjoy the the channel emotes. I appreciate the support so so much. There's at least a few here that you can use. And it really goes a long way with me. So I appreciate it greatly. But I love them. I hope you enjoy them too. Yeah. <laughs> we love you too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Flu. I hope you're enjoying yourself. A disk drive? I would try hosting a movie if I could figure it out. Why? Oh, because you have like, I guess, physical versions of movies. You guys, I mean, you can just do live streaming stuff. You can just cast your screen. That would be a lot easier than having a disk drive.
If you have live streaming services, that works really well. Alright, who may you be? Hold! You are not of Wu Tai, are you? Yes. No. Wait. I'm not of Wu Tai, yes. yes? I'm no. not of Wu Tai, no. Outsiders are strictly prohibited from entering the pagoda. I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. What if we lie to him this time? Hold! He does talk. You are not. Yes. Fee! To deceive people of one's identity is an absolute affront. Leave the pagoda at once. What am I supposed to do? I'm so confused. I haven't found Yuffie. I found Godo, but he's like literally asleep. I try to go to the to Zhao and like try and investigate the statue. And found nothing there for me. I don't know what to do. Guess I can go back, but what then? Well, so the idea is, Greg, if you have a website for like, let's say you're subscribed to Netflix, you open Netflix.com on your, on your laptop, and then Discord has this option to capture whatever screen you have on your laptop and then share it with people on Discord. And this is like technically what we generally do for our movie nights. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, obviously, like, if you're relying on, like, DVDs, or, like, Vorpal is saying, um, you can, like, hook up a USB drive, uh, disk drive, and then you can, like, play it through, like, a player, like, VLC, uh, or, like, media player, and then share that window to Discord, and that would be an alternative as well. Yeah, it's, like, streaming to Discord. Exactly. Can I give a hint? I actually would love a hint here. That would be wonderful. Yeah, that yeah, that's the thing. It's where that movie streams on will be probably the challenge. Um, but there are services that could probably help you find out where that might be. I see something across the water here, but we just haven't been here. Yeah, I think uh, there's this area I was looking at earlier that I haven't really been to. Perhaps. Maybe? No, this is a cat house. Um, there's some good guides on like... This is my house! Online on how to do it that we can share with you, but it, it's relatively simple as long as you're in a voice call. There's features on Discord that allow you to do that, yeah. Yeah, there's probably... That's fascinating. Well, well. This girl's just going on about strangers. I still don't know what to do. Maybe we are not ready to be in this village. No? Get away. She's still in this village. No, Sid is not having it. Go back to the tower. The pagoda? Alright. Back to the pagoda. There's a thing to interact with in the house? Okay, hold on. Let me take a look. Then we'll go to the pagoda. Ah, more. My. I thought there's like a chest in the corner here, but... Oh, what the...
Maybe she's in their house now? Yeah, my house. but she's like acting like she's like 11. I know, she's 16. She's a little bratty about it though. She's great, but she's bratty. Oh, I think I see something moving around here. Block off her exits. She ain't getting away this time. Yuffie! Bah! Get out of here, Yuffie! Oof! Yeah, get, get over here. Get over here, you're trapped. You can't get away this time, Yuffie. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. You win. I'll give you back your materia. Uh-huh. Is she really gonna make it that easy? Bye, Greg. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shinra soldiers. Run, run, run. We miss so him our here. reports are right. You are here on vacation. We finally found him, sir. But we're going to need the Turks' help on this mission. What a drag. So much for vacation, I... huh? I'm sorry? We're on it's vacation. called Echo S. I can't babysit you right now. Okay? As I said, we're aware you're on vacation, but... If you know, then get lost, yeah? I'm sober enough just looking at you. But I thought headquarters gave you the same orders to look for him. Alright, fine. We'll get him without any help from the Turks. You'll see. Sure you will. And don't think headquarters isn't gonna hear about this. <laughs> Reno? Sir? Was that a good idea? I mean, is that the way a professional, a Turk, should behave? Elena, don't misunderstand. They're trying to corrupt Elena. Those She's like trying to be a goody two shoes. For their job aren't pros. Dude, just fools. Real with the advice Rude, here, sir. <laughs> no comments. Well, I don't buy that. Please excuse me. What's the saying? Like, uh, she's still wet behind the ears, or she's like a newbie? She's not a child. Let her have her own way. She's gotta figure out the cruel way of the world. I know, I know. The materia. It's in a safe place. Follow me. Nice. Why are they speaking uh, Japanese out of all characters? I don't know. I, I don't really know what the creative like decision making behind this mod and why some speak Japanese. But literally when we met Yuffie, she like muttered to herself in like Japanese, um, even though she speaks English to us. I think maybe they're just trying to like make it a little more interesting that like not everyone here is going to be speaking the same language because it's Wu Tai. You know, and they've kind of seemed to be very distanced from like the rest of the world and they don't believe in Mako and all that kind of stuff, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's just kind of really cool. Uh, you can find that on the Echo, um, like on the Echo S website, H2. There was like a list of um, names in the opening credits scene of Who Voice 2. I've been hearing ever since I was little. Are these foxes? That Wu Tai was a lot more bustling and powerful before I was born. And now look at it. Just another tourist trap. We were defeated in the war and found peace. But something was lost in the process. Now, Wu Tai is. That's why. If I had lots of materia, I know I could. Sorry, Yuffie. But I don't care about the history of Wutai or your feelings. You've got our materia and we want it back. I understand if why you she's give doing it to us now, really misguided. we'll drop the whole thing. She's trying I know. to save her town. I know that as well as anyone. That... <laughs> switch. The lover on the left. I wonder how much materia she has banked there that's not even ours. There. Uh, do you have any other mod that's turned on? Uh, exclamation FF7. Um, Zoe, and that will show you every single mod I have turned on. Most of it is, just break it down, is a voice mod, a 60 FPS mod, and the other ones are all just upscalers for like textures and stuff. That's it.
just a lot of textures up there on. So what you do is you go and download a mod downloader called Seventh Heaven. You'll find this on a website called Suna Mods. Download. Uh, I can I can do a little tutorial here for you really really quickly. Um, but it's pretty easy information you can find on the internet. Uh, so let's see, Seventh Heaven. Pretty sure it should find chat rather instantly. So this is this is uh, Seventh Heaven. This is the program right here. All right. Um, the mods that I have loaded are these ones, as you can tell. And you can like toggle them, you can configure them, and all that kind of stuff. But if you download Seventh Heaven, and you have the Steam version of Final Fantasy VII, that's the way that works with each other. You can browse catalog. All right, and in this browse catalog, you find a whole list of mods that you can just basically download. And yeah, I, I think it's a lot easier. I made the mistake of trying to download them on Nexus mod, but this is better. Download Seventh Heaven, and then go to the catalog uh, in which call it. However, um, navigating these mods is a different story. I had so many great people recommend me the mods that I should use that really enhance experience without changing it, because I'm not looking to change the experience. Um, and these are the ones I've eventually put in my game, which are all just like texture upscalers and then 60 FPS gameplay and then a the voice mod, which I was the one that I wanted to do that in the first place. So like F exclamation FF7 will take you to the mo my mod list in case you want to replicate my exact experience. I don't know what else is out here for you. There's like some chibi stuff. There's all kinds of things in here you can explore. Um, probably there are recommendations on the internet, but this is this is my little mod loader. Yeah, there's a lot. I wonder if this area is some commentary on the state of Japan after the real estate bubble burst in 1990. Um, that's that might be a interesting way to look at it. I would be curious to kind of like see how like every Final Fantasy game and like the kind of like history and politics that they base it on. It probably does have some premise, Marius, and it would be really cool to see like some uh, write ups about that or like video essays. I'm sure there's probably some something there. All right, let's pull the lever. I like how it just is off. All right, pull the lever. Pull the crank. Can I interact with it? That. <laughs> lever on the left. I'm trying to interact with it. I don't know why it's not working. It's off. I don't know. Maybe there's something else here I'm missing. It's actually a commentary on the collapse of Japan after World War II and the dissolution of the shogunate in general. I see. But this is Japan basically being forced not to go into colonial era, as they so aspire to do. We had no altar. <laughs> None of us. I am so confused. This is it, right? Like, this is what I need to interact with. So why can't I interact with it? That... <laughs> switch. Is it like Resident Evil, where you have to be like standing in a really particular spot to get it to work? Uh, help! Chat! That's so strange. It just says off, but it won't let me pull anything. This is like, is she trying to like, pull me again? Or is the game broken? That would be really weird if it was like, just broken here. So I'm like, not pressing the confirmation button or something. Which I don't think is the case, because we had no alt. I'm literally able to look up. How do you look up? Upstairs. I don't think I can even get past Yuffie. Like she's like literally in the doorway. Huh. None of. 
This is a really weird hitbox. That makes sense, Steffi, because I feel like I'm having a, such a hard time. Walk slowly from the left. It goes... Oh! What the... F that was so hard! What hit manner of hitbox is this? That was so strange! That's really bugged. I don't know. Old game problems? Like, I, if I was a kid, I would have been frustrated. I would have given up right here. Like, I'm spamming it. I'm trying to come at it from all angles. Yeah, frame-perfect interaction. Ugh, this only exists in the PC version? How dumb. <laughs> trust anyone that easily. The materia's mine. Tough luck. You want your materia? Then you'll just have to find me, won't you? Now that rings a bell. <laughs> I could give you suckers a hundred clues like that one and you'd all still never work it out. I bet the right one would have pulled Bye -bye. the cage as well. How? Why did I listen to her? Why'd I listen to her? She's an absolute menace. Second time she's bamboozled me. Who do I find her now? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's no one else doing this but Yuffie. There's no one else. This is Yuffie. She stole the EXE. Now we can go pull the right lover. Yoink. My game now. <laughs> no! What do you mean, please insert Final Fantasy VII game disc one, two, or three and try again? She stole my game too? Did she steal it from my Steam library? She stole your disc. <laughs> what is this Undertale? <laughs> okay, I think it's I think it's back again. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Like this series of events. I guess we have to go find her. We'll do that again. All right, she go a lot faster. The only thing I would want to do and look into if there's a mod for is a way to make save states. If I can save state, that would be so great. Because, like, the crashes I've been having have not been fun. Just as a streamer, it can be nice to have, like, an alternative to, like, save wherever. Purely for like streaming reasons, where it's like, hey, I need to stop stream right now, and there's okay. no safe points. Can't you win? I pulled the right lever this time. So we finally. What? I. Uh, We're on. Vi as I said, if you know. But I thought, hey. All right. Was it the mod option or is it the game option that you can change your text boxes in this game to be different colors? You know, I mean, because like I feel like those? this blue is like a classic, but I remember seeing an option to change your box dialogue color. Well, we won't spoil it, but the left lever crashes relax. your game. She's not a child. Is it I know, for real? I know, the materia. For real though? You're not just pulling my leg? That doesn't make sense. What is this, like a Hideo Kojima game? I... 
This was the original game, okay. And now look, we were defeated. That's why. Basically. Sorry, you've got if you. I know that. All right, we're pulling the other lever this time. Dude, what is this? Yuffie made this the hardest game ever. Look at that. Look, look, it's not working. Use your hoof hands! Pull the lever! Cloud! Wrong lever! Come on! Ah! Spam, 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 spam. Why is it like this? I don't know how I did it the first time. You have to look up directional, that's what I meant. Oh, there we go. For real? <laughs> you should pay attention she has a when others are option talking. For each choice. The materia's mine. Tough luck. So she tells you it's because you didn't pay attention this time? Menace. You want your materia? Then you'll just have to find me, won't you? She's the equivalent now that rings a bell. of Kevin from Home Alone. <laughs> I could give you suckers a hundred clues and like we're the that wet one bandits. and you'd all still never work it out. Except it's a reverse. She's the thief. And we're not the thieves. Oh my god, I walked away from the switch. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? I'm never letting out my friends. They're stuck forever. Ah! No, 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 no. 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 Oh. I gotta let them out. It's okay. Okay. We should go save before the game crashes. Hi, hey, Munson. She'd be hiding anywhere. That passageway where there's a cat. They're sitting on my lap. I can't get out. I'm stuck. Oh. Get out of the way. Check every house on the way to the safe point, anyways. Sorry, what are those samples? Just samples. How about the bar? Oh, Lena's gone. We're on vacation. That's not an invitation for a drink, in case you're wondering. So don't go getting all chummy. Oh, can you imagine a universe where the Turks actually invited them to sit down for a drink? And they just became pals. It's like, hey, we're on vacation. We don't have to be enemies. It's cool. I'm wondering if I have to go to the statue or the tower. Probably the tower. Yeah, right. Like a filler. Let's go see if Master Godo's up. Oh, he's uh, not asleep anymore. Hmm, things have happened. Developing. Alright, I guess we can go to the Pagoda and see what happens from there. Calling them the twerks. Nice. I'd love to see that. 
Halt! You are not outside as a sh I'm afraid I must He's really not gonna let me in, is he? Do we really have to go up to the tower? Oh, this is open though. Unless it was open before and I just didn't notice it. Oh! Doing. I saw something happen, but I don't know what. Hey, Shumway, how are you? I played Remake, but not Rebirth. Hey! No. Who do you think you... Ugh, what are you doing? You're... No. <laughs> it's not Hojo, is it? No. Who's the one with the lecherous laugh? Oh, seriously? <laughs> what the heck are you doing? I didn't think I would see him ever again in my life! Oh my god! Corneo. Go away, Corneo! You're disgusting! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> new I chicky? I finally found the new chicky. <laughs> Two for one, in fact. <laughs> Two. Hey, let go of me. You're gonna regret this. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be like Corneo, chat. Who is this fella? I thought we saw the last of him in Wall Street Market. There he is! It's Corneo! <laughs> Don't let him get away! It's a good voice, H2. I loved it. Charge! He was very slimy and weasley. I liked it, Sean. It was a really, really good movie. Like, it's not like top favorite movie or anything, but it's like a really good time, you know? Ooh, put me to sleep, huh? How much health do they have? Do we have to grenade them? No, it seems like it can be okay. We'll be fine. Just going with straight up attacks. Yeah, face. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Poor Vincent's still sleeping. He's missing that coffin. Oh my gosh. How did this happen to me? Why was this an entrance to the mansion anyways? Let's see if we can rest for anybody. I watch Lord of War where Kid, Cage actually is doing a serious role. I've seen him doing some serious roles. I've been wanting to watch Pig. He, he does do a serious role in Pig, right? Oh my god. Oh my god. I thought I was stuck in there. I couldn't get out. Ooh. Rude and Reno. Hello? Elena. <laughs> Corneo is still only good at making a run for it, eh? Elena. Let's go, Rude. We'll give him a taste of what the Turks are all about. What is this side again, quest? It's so has wild. Elena. That could make things a little tricky. Yeah? So, yeah. Yeah, back then, sure, that's fair. Fine. Corneo's kidnapped Yuffie too. And without her, we won't get our materia back. Don't misunderstand. We're not joining forces. Oh my god, Let's my dreams just are coming think true. Of it as staying out of each other's way. They're gonna hang out. Hey. I'm cool with that. It'll be a sad day when we cooperate with the Turks. Now where the heck did Corneo run off to? 
I know him almost too well. Think about it. What place sticks out the most here in Wutai? Statue? I think the statue. We're gonna go check it. Oh yeah, here we go. You finally got here. We're going to split up into two groups. I like Do Rita's takes, voice. It's pretty good. Don't endanger Elena. Yeah. And don't worry. We won't do anything to harm... Yuffie, or whatever she's called. For now, that is. Yeah, I like that he has to add on for now. So I'll go the other path. I haven't seen that one, Nikon. I've been recommending it. We definitely should do more movie nights or watch some of this stuff. Aside from bad movie night, that is. Bad movie night is just like a one one off treat. Waiting till the store's crowds are gone so I can buy drinks, uh, drinks and snackies for the long Easter weekends. How many days you got off, Shumway? Cloud and Sid both reach limit. Nice. I don't think I've seen Sid's limit. Hmm. Four day weekend. Hell yeah. Can I go this way? What? Let me go. What the hell? Corneo? I thought you were using these girls for other things. What are you doing? Scrumptious. Delicious. Mm. I think I found the new hobby. What? Why are you wiggling your butt Which like that? What are you doing? Be. Is he gonna kill one of them? This one? Hey, I'm a Turk. You'll never get away with this. Or maybe... Hey, Gappy. This one! Oh, God. If I knew this was gonna happen, I would have taken rope escape training more seriously. I like that she had rope training escape, but like she never took it seriously. I've made my choice. My companion for tonight shall be Ew. this spunky girl. Frostus! Ew. Don't mess with me, evil perp. You don't even have any material. Oh, so it would be okay if she Ooh. had material. I love it when they play hard to get. Yeah. Oh. That's as far as you go. I don't know what? how was Who it that? that in this day and age where they were making PS1 games, they managed yeah. to code Corneo's movements in a way that you actually perceive <laughs> creepiness. No you know? See. You're looking at his movement I'd and you're like, you. ugh. God might forgive a sleazeball like you, but I won't. <laughs> Not that like, I care. Hell but no. Your approach leaves much to be desired. Silence. None of your Dude, Vincent's like, I don't care suffer. about morality here. I just want to go back to sleep. Story, but... We're gonna get the Corneo origin story. I don't give a crap. You're gonna <laughs> let him go, or I'm gonna get rough. Thanks, Sid. He's like, I don't want to hear you your story. guys are serious. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around either. Why did you have to kill my cute little Abzu? Huh? Well, maybe you should have some fun with my new pet. Who? At least then you might stay out what? of my way, so I might find the pride. Ew. Abzu! Here, boy! You need better names for your pets, dude. What the heck? Raps. Mm. 
because you make me choose now. I'm sorry, Max. I'm sorry we stream at the same time. <laughs> it's okay if you want to hang out with Regal. It's no big deal. I get it. I want to hang out with Regal too. Um. Okay, item. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Grenades. Slow. Berserk. Confuse. I'm thinking something like... Like, whirlwind? On all opponents? Hmm. Just like a wind attack. But maybe I'll throw a bomb first and then try and attack it with my normal stuff. Grenade? Yeah, I already have limit breaks, which is awesome. This blows away all opponents, but I don't think this is kind of useful here. I don't really know what it does, finishing touch. I'll just use Meteor Rain for now. Let's see. That's not- oh. That was anticlimactic. Yoki's hanging out with my mom this week. Show me. I got a peace ring. Wait, wait just a second. Shut up. Uh, just listen. It won't take long. Why do you think a scoundrel like me would uh, swallow his pride and uh, plead for his life? Hmm? Because he's sure to win. Because he's clueless. Because he's ready to die. I mean, I think the first time he said because he's sure to win. Because he's sure to win. <laughs> Bingo! He is cool, though. So. Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> my head feels like it's about to pop. You're gonna be sorry. <laughs> Once I push this button, they'll fall head over heels. And you know what will happen then? Squash tomatoes! Head over heels? Damn! Piece of work. Huh. <laughs> Do that laugh. Looks like I'll have the last laugh. <laughs> That's so good. I will not he has stopped. no right to be this good as voice voicing this character. What? Who said that? That sounds good, Max. Go visit your pupper. The, the Turks? You signed your own death warrant when you leaked that information. We're going to take care of you personally. I'm getting tired of the wind effects. I have it your way, but they'll be coming with me. Doesn't look like Good a corneo. You're just gonna leave him hanging there? Amazing. It's my job. All right, Corneo. Just listen. He deserves this. It won't take long. Why do you think we went to the trouble of teaming up with hey! these losers to find you? Eh? Two! Number two! What's number two? Nope. They were all wrong. Wait, stop! The correct answer was... I think so, Admiral. People have recommended it to me. It's possible. Thank you. I didn't think you'd come. Elena, don't be so presumptuous. You're a Turk. You're one of us. Yeah? Yes, sir. That's awesome. I, uh, thanks for helping, I guess. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, yeah, I'll get right on it. Was 
Is that the company? Yep. They want us to find Cloud in the game. No! You wouldn't you say? Oh, You wouldn't turn on us now. You're on vacation. Are we on? Nah. We're yes! off Yes! We love Reno in this house. Let's go, Reno. Reno's like, nah. I'm off the job. Nice. Hi, Zeno. See you later. Take care. Yuffie, what are you doing? Enough. Yeah, perfect. Oh, she was equipping was the material in the same slots. What the? You've put them all over the place. Oh, God, come on. Huh? Oh, come on. No. What's the big deal? No. Don't be so picky. No. Well, that sure was no. a close one, huh? No. Yeah, normally I would have kicked their butts. Are you for bam, real? Bam, bam. She didn't just mess up my materia loadout, did that she? That Corneo guy's unbelievable. That's so mean. I'd rather have to deal with my dad than him. Oh, and those Turk guys? I guess they aren't all that bad, right? At least you got the materia back, safe and sound. No one's here to listen to our monologue. Let's get back to our journey with the huff and this. Hey! Wait! All right. You can have this one back, too. She was keeping another here. one? Look, look! Ta-da! That's a new one. Hi, Hobbs. Come on, please! Well, I don't care what you say. I'm coming with you. And don't expect me to make a mistake next time. Hey, we're gonna have trust issues with Yuffie. What the heck, Yuffie? I don't understand. Please, please tell me you didn't miss... this game that's actually pretty mean that's actually like really rude like okay fine you make us go on a side quest to go and do this entire thing but then you freaking mess up our inventory management and our material management that's a dick move square enix like i don't care how long ago you did this that was pretty awful what if I just, like, made a loadout and I don't remember what it is? And I have to, like, sit here and, like, conjure and use all my brain resources to actually go back and rebuild my freaking material loadout. Uh, I'm not pleased. So, there's more here, a lot more, but this is also the point where you can be free once again so you can roam the world map as long as you don't find the temple you're headed to. Okay. Well, if you tell- if I- if someone just tells me I'm- I'm near the temple, I'll just stay away from it, like, you know, warmer, colder, that kind of thing. They did this as a meme? Yeah, I understand that, but, like, this- then it makes this whole, like, side quest, like, just stupid, you know? Like, I get it, okay. They wanted to take away our materia, they had no way of restoring it exactly how it was, because they didn't have the means to do it, then don't take the materia in the first place! Yeah, I mean, I do have a save. The- that's- that's another idea, which is a good one here, Nikon, but it's still like, oh, how much work do I need to do because they decided to go down this route? I'm not amused. At all. Like, I need to go write this down. Hi, Prez. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome in. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Not sure what you were up to, but I'm just sitting here playing some Final Fantasy VII. Just finished a side quest in the Wu Tai village with Yuffie. Yeah, she's a true villain in Final Fantasy VII. 
Now the game's messed up my uh, material management, so I gotta go back and actually take notes on what my material management was before. So, let me grab the notebook real quick. Something to write on. So I can actually <clears throat> figure out our loadout. I mean, Sid doesn't really have a loadout, that's fine. I just need to know what, like, Tifa's and Vincent's loadout was. Like, I, I remember it, like, vaguely, but still, like, just gonna take me some time to manage the rest. It's like you feel the betrayal the party felt, yeah? I mean, like, I, I kinda- it's interesting because, like, Yuffie just kinda forces her way back into your party, but I can even imagine as a player, right? Like, you're playing the game, let's say you liked Yuffie, right, and she pulls a move like this, you're gonna be like, PHS, move out of party, okay, bring in this other person instead, you know? It's gonna be like, why do I want Yuffie in my- I understand why she did it, like, I think it's really sweet she wanted to bring Wutai back to former glory she heard about, like, before she was ever born, but, like, that was a really messed up way of doing it. It's, like, very, like, bratish, like, doesn't understand consequences and stuff in the world, and just, like, does it all wrong, you know? Like, she could have just been- <clears throat> She could have just done that better. Alright. Let's go load the save, I guess. Yeah. Amber- Amber is great. Real kind person. Definitely right about that, Max. Uh, okay, let's see. Load the former save. Right. <laughs> Take a compliment, Amber. Come on. Let's see, materia. Alright. So what we got? HP plus. Odin. Enemy skill. I mean, there is a point that, like, at this point in the game, you probably know what your character's builds are, but I imagine everyone's got messed up, like, even the characters I'm not using right now, but that's fine. Titan. And we got manipulate and sense. She's tossing the freebie we gotta check out. Then we got added effect. Destruct. Okay. Ooh, good luck, Max. Good luck. We did also temporarily switch out their equipment. We're gonna have to change that back as well because what worked temporarily might not work when we need, you know, like double growth and stuff like that. Cover. Long range. Steel. You got this, Max. You'll get through it. Counter attack. Thanks, Nikon. That was a really smart idea, by the way. Elemental. Fire. Remove. Shiva. Uh, it's okay. Everyone goes through imposter syndrome. You can deal with it, Max. You got this. There's a reason you're the boss. You figure it out. Fire. Elemental. Poison. <laughs> you Max Nubman. Restore Death Blow. 
Choco. Fuck. Okay. We got our stuff. Let's quit. All right. Press play. Spend the rest of the stream just doing materia management. Let me just make sure I have all the equip that I need. Um, so this is the best weapon. It's all of the best stuff. Dexterity. It could be really nice to have maybe dexterity on uh, Vincent, who's like literally trying to do attacks as fast as possible. Maybe like... With death blow at the very least. Equip. Gold armor. No, no, that was wrong. Okay. We've also gotten new materia recently as well. So let's see his equip first. Sniper is what we want, yep. Eden coat. I mean, it's better no matter what. It just doesn't have double growth anymore, so just Vincent just comes with like more now, which is kind of awesome. But Vincent's kind of like a death blow machine at this point. I sub to Rigoy and Ash, and I guess Berto please if he ever gets his ass on again. He comes on every now and then, Max. Not too often, though. Max, thank you for the seven months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. <clears throat> Where do I find... Wait. Did they just randomly get put on... What's his face? Vincent? I want to remove all. There we go. Rebuilt. No, thanks for being here. Very sweet of you, Max. I'm sure Regal appreciates that a lot as well. Where's all my stuff? Is it all on arrange, exchange? Is all Sid? Yeah. I have to bring him back to take everything off. I forgot they were all on him. Now we can equip it. Cover. I think they're kind of all sorted for the most part. Steel. Counter attack. Elemental. Store. No. Fire. Hmm. And then we have Ramu and Shiva. Okay. Vincent now has more slots, so we can kind of experiment with this a little bit. Maybe we can even like swap out things for um, for Tifa here. So here we can do all uh, into fire. Who had 
at all and restore. No one. Okay, it was it was him. I think that's even more important. Let's see, restore. This is all in restore. That was really important. Then we had elemental poison. That's not the biggest one here, but all in fire could also be really nice. Or whatever elements that we need him to do damage in. Where's our other fire? This is so much work. Like Vincent was? Yeah, I, I see that. We might have missed it entirely had we not gone through that whole ordeal with um, opening that safe. I can't find it. Maybe we'll just do something else for now. Then we need death blow. What does Cloud have? I feel like he's missing something. Does he have everything he needs? What seal? Lightning? Gravity? Huh? Why did this stuff change? What? This is so confusing. Did I just remove everything off of everyone? How oh, I did this? Odin. Enemy skill. I'm very confused. Titan. Okay. Well, these are kind of connected with the gold app. Added effect destruct. I guess we were just farming stuff, but we could do all instead here. Or MP absorb. Let's see what's this. Attack with paired materia absorbs MP at the same time. That's really nice for people that cast a lot. I don't know how that works though. Okay, chat, how does MP absorb work? And can I put it in my armor? Yeah, I might have to do this on... So we have some new stuff here that we can play around with that I just need to take into consideration. Summons Odin. Maybe like some of these things are like not even worth it for me to have anymore, you know? Like, I can remove this and this, and then put manipulation and sense on here. Yeah. Empty spots on the list? Sure. I can definitely do that. Materia. But I don't know how- how do I arrange the materia? Oh, there we go. So like, summon Ifrit is useless right now. And transform. Let's see, Eclipse Barrier. This can be really helpful for someone like Tifa. But I can also cast it for her. It's time. Oops, time magic. Oh, okay. Well, we actually have something a little better than this right now. But these are need to be connected with something else, like added effects of maybe resisting, like, I don't know, ice, for example. MP Absorb works by whatever spell or ability you use with the linked materia. It will restore the user's MP with paired abilities used at 1% of the damage dealt rounded down. Only works on targets that have MP. So if I did something like fire here, then I would absorb MP on them? But only if it's on the enemy, not if it's on a friend. Hey, Alucard. Let's exit. Oh, with escape and remove this. 
Hmm. It's a little hard to figure this out. Because now... Like Tifa with these slots... She could be doing things that... One percent of the damage you do with the fire spell in that case would be the amount of MP you gain. Okay, I see. Like now, what's confusing is I have the ability to put things here. I could put a lot of summons if I really wanted to. I could put things that are also useful. Barrier would be really useful. I destruct. That was really helpful too. Yeah, I'm not happy with my loadout right now, but I guess we'll tinker around with it with time. Okay. Alright. So, there's a place north that we can head from here. Or head to. I don't know if there's actually anything left in this area, but there could be. Um, I'm gonna ask chat to help me out with one thing. Uh, you know you were on the Souls grind for a bit, um... Great to see this game, it's been years since I played. I still am on the Souls grind, I still do my runs, but... I haven't exactly become like a Dark Souls speedrun main or anything like that. I, I still do other stuff. And it's been nice to kind of just like retreat with this every now and then, you know? Feels good. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm, I'm still very much a variety streamer, but I do appreciate the work and I've been putting into Dark Souls to getting good at it. And it's not something I really want to give up. Okay, so uh, as I was saying, if anyone can let me know when I'm warm in terms of like, I'm close to disc two area and it's like a point of no return. Um, if you find me going to, like, the little part of the continent, that's exactly that. Otherwise, we'll just explore. We might even backtrack a little bit here. It's okay, no pressure on, like, one person. Um, I think... It would be cool to know, but no pressure. Let's see. Level 30. That's a lot of MP. Person on screen? My bad. I was messing around a lot. With closing and opening the game. Probably left it on. Hey, Purasame. We didn't die, by the way. That, that was good. We came to this, like, side quest area without our items and we survived, which is awesome. Because I think everyone scared me into thinking that, like, us coming without Materia was going to spell death for us, but we actually made it. Something flew against my head. cave there. I don't know if we've been there. Probably not, but we could potentially get to it by water. That's a great question. I don't know. I think maybe that's one of the caveats of like... Oh my gosh. I've never seen this before. 
I missed one. That's so sad. My first time getting all five wheels. You're gonna feel this one. But yeah, I think that might be the caveat of like putting cover on her and her tanking everything. Dang, girl. Oh my gosh, she's like single-handedly taking care of like everything. Enemy skill too. That makes sense, yes. Invis, hello! Thank you for the 22 months of tier 2. Dang, that's a lot of twos. That sounds satisfactory. How are you doing, Invis? Happy Thursday. Um, let's see, Materia, Tifa. Um, sure. We could potentially, like, exchange. Let's see. Clouds. Manipulate enemy skill. Right. And do something like, I don't know. For now. That could work, because then she's, like, taking the hit for everyone. That's why we hide it on Cloud in the first place, but I forgot about that synergy. Thank you so much for 22 months. Yeah, that's the whole idea, is if she's taking the hit, she should be able to learn anything she tanks. Oh no, Deathblow miss! That's so disappointing. We do need a healer, though. <laughs> High potion? Tifa. Get rid of this... Fury as well. I paired fire with MB Absorb, but I haven't used it yet. This place is really large to actually get out of. The fact that she kicks twice makes you feel like Tifa is getting two hits of damage on, but like she doesn't. Nice. Smoke him. Try and actually be really good here. Pair it with death blow. Let's see. We would have to see what, um... Vincent's lowdown is. I mean, all doesn't really need to be done here. Um, you could, let's see, do exchange. Vincent. And now. Are you sure it works that way? Like, can these two materials, like, yellow and blue, be connected like that? I don't use steel and mug as much as I use something like Deathblow. just cropped. I don't think I've moved it. I might be moving around in my room myself. Just like around my desk where my chair is positioned. I'm doing okay. Life's been incredibly busy. I had like a whole day of like adulting yesterday which had me really really tired. I've been doing a lot of work as well. 
You know how it is. Okay, so we should be able to get back to the sh... What was it called again? I'm forgetting what it's called. It starts with a T. Our little airplane. Yeah, adulting is the worst. Let's see, enemy skill. Let's do trine. Oh, wait. Lightning heals one of them. Okay. Poor Tifa, she's suffering out here. Yep. Oh my gosh. Tiny Bronco, thank you. That's what it was. Oof. Oh my god. This thing is being elusive. Poor Tifa. Okay. So we can quickly go to Vincent and pop on revive and just cast it really quickly on Tifa. Magic life Tifa. And then I think we can just use a tent at this point. That might actually be good. Materia, Vincent. Heal. Restore. Item tents. Oh, um, speaking of dexterity, what would be best on Vincent? A strength plus 10 or dexterity? Because coming to buy some more, like, chocobo rings could be really handy. I don't know what would be more beneficial here. Because we have a lot of, like, equipment to choose from now. Okay, I hope that, like, getting into a little Bronco doesn't actually mean that we have combat in water. There would be something nice and relaxing about not having to fight anything out here. Alright, I saw a little cave earlier. I'm gonna see if I can head to it. Yeah, it's like right here. This is not the easiest to control. What a weird way to turn an aircraft into just, like, a boat. Oh. That's so interesting. I don't know how to go to this little cave segment. Hmm. Maybe it's from somewhere else. Okay. This is the town we were just at. Maybe going back would be not a bad idea. Alright. Alright, these ones get healed by poison, so no poison for them. Any manipulates. Nice. I like that MP regain. That's really nice. That's really handy, actually. Okay. We're back. Oh, it's you. 
I also heard that Rufus has been out of control ever since. <laughs> it sure gave me a good laugh. Nice. That's good. I'm glad we upset Rufus. I wonder if anyone has anything else to say. Would you like... No. That's... Maybe if I drink something, I'll something you? new. I heard Rufus hurried back to the Shinra headquarters in Midgar. Nice. Ah, uh, how long is that guy gonna be on the toilet? He's still on the toilet. I really need to go. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, he's still on the toilet. Mm, I just have to know. Amazing. Let's take a look around. Are these guys still bored out of their still. minds? Yep. <laughs> like literally the whole day on the bathroom. Shinra confined us to our homes when they came that day. I wasn't able to look up at the rocket. That whipper snap. I don't think I want to punish her, but I have no trust hobby. in her anymore. She needs to uh, redeem herself. Dude pays rent on that toilet? For sure. Yo, Hardy, what's up? Okay, let's just dive. Welcome. We're good. I mean, at least Yuffie gave us a materia that was new out of all of that ordeal. It's not like we came away uh, like empty handed. I'll take care of everything here. You take care of the captain. Interesting. I'll. T okay. I want to dedicate my life to making people laugh all oh, over the world. Oh, finally figured it out. Didn't have Pepsi in weeks, down three cans yesterday, regrets. Oof. Understandable. I, um, I can't drink sugar drinks anymore. I gave up, like, sugar drinks, like, a few years back, and now if I have one, I, I feel it, like, in every sip. I'm like, oh my god, this is real intense. It's a sugar-free life for me now. All right. Let me take a look at the map really quickly. There's definitely some areas we've never really explored, but it's just like running around the world at this point. There's like, I don't think anything really new here. No new corners we haven't been to. Yeah. Oh no, I understand. Everyone, um, <clears throat> we all have that. We do what we can to take care of ourselves in those stressful days. Sorry you had a stressful day. I hope it gets better. Yeah, so the Nibelheim mystery is still unsolved, but we do have new friends. Dude, Tifa's on a roll. Look at her. Look at her with all those counterattacks. Like, Vincent can't even get a freaking, like, death blow off without her having, like, locked for the entire team. She's like single-handedly doing all the work here. What a gal. Okay. All right, everyone. I think this is probably a fantastic saving point for the day. I'm gonna say it one more time. Oh, that was a six hour stream. I've been sitting on my chair for six hours. Oh. Dex would be good if Vincent is slow. That's a good idea, actually. Um. Because, oh, I, I, I thought about the Amber. I, I totally... You reminded me. I said that it wouldn't it be great if he could just death blow all the time. And, yeah, that was an idea I had. And I, like, literally forgot to actually capitalize on that. We can go back to... We can do Choco Feather for Vincent. And that means maybe we can go back to putting... Um, on Clouds or Tifa... The Power Wrists. Might be good on Tifa because she's like retaliating all the time. Yeah. Try to figure it out. Thank you. Yeah, six hours. Six hours. Honestly, I could play more, but I need to get something to eat. And I feel like we made some good progress today. We started off in Nibelheim, we met Vincent, we found Sephiroth again, and then we, uh,. What did we do afterwards? We found our way to this town. I forget what it's called, the, where the rocket ship is. We met Sid, we made our big getaway. We then found the Yuffie DLC. 
the Yuffie side content, and then made our way back to the main town, um, or main land. So now we can do some exploration with the tiny Bronco on the overworld, which will finally allow us to backtrack to some areas in the world. Like, I really would like to go back to where Fort Condor is and um, explore some of the things around that area. And then I imagine the north, that's where they're telling us to go. Um, that's where I think Sephiroth is. Uh, we can avoid that for now and maybe explore some of the islands in the south. So maybe backtrack some more islands and then make our way up to the north. It might as well be the DLC. I know, right? The integrated DLC. Yep. So that means we'll have to leave this for another time. Um, I don't know, by the way, if we're going to be doing Final Fantasy VII tomorrow or not. I will have to give you posts on it. Rugal was talking to me about doing some Stardew Valley co-op. Um, so I have to see if he's still down for that because it's something that he's been wanting to do with me and it's something that he's unlocked on his stream to be able to do. And we we love Stardew Valley and you know we love the game so much. It would be really nice to just like get a chance to play, especially after the 1.6 update came out. Might have like a... <clears throat> like a little duo stream together tomorrow. Sorry this week has been less streams than normal, but yeah, adulting and erroning, yes, I kind of like took a whole day away from us. Robbed a whole day. We'll see how next week goes as well. Um, I generally stream Monday to Friday. If you're new here and you've never caught a stream before, Monday to Friday is generally my schedule. Um, between Final Fantasy VII OG for the first time, we're also doing some Dark Souls speedruns. Um, that's basically kind of like what I'm alternating between. I'm either doing Dark Souls or I'm doing Final Fantasy VII OG, though tomorrow might be the exception where I kind of break away from something um, to do a one day off, one day kind of like off uh, deal. Um, I've also been streaming to YouTube as well as Twitch simultaneously, which has been awesome. So thank you everyone who's been watching from YouTube, especially if you've subscribed to me. It's really, really sweet of you. Appreciate the support. Uh, I will let you know, yeah, what, what we do tomorrow. And if you're looking for more Final Fantasy VII, then definitely give me a follow. Um, you know, pay attention to those going live notifications or your follow direct or whatever it is. You'll, you'll find me on. Um, you can always also join Discord for updates about when we go live. Uh, let's see. Also, don't forget to put points into Bad Movie Night if you want to make it happen for April. I think it's like you can max at like 2,000 points a day. It was a good day. I had a lot of fun with it, you all. Thank you so much for the good vibes. Mm. I'm gonna see if we can find someone to raid and who that might be. I mean, there's always people to raid, but who are we gonna go to? Is the question. Mm. Oh, you know. Interesting. I want to head to... Let's head to Charlie Bit Me. She is playing Elden Ring. She's apparently teaching someone how to love Elden Ring. So I'm guessing it's like an Elden Ring seamless co-op or something like that. Charlie's awesome. She did commentary for me. For my Dark Souls um, any percent run for Frost Vitalis, she also speedruns the game and Sekiro, and I think she's learning Elden Ring. Yeah, Charlie bit me, exactly. Like, look at her username. It's exactly what you think it is. Yeah, classic. Yeah, big throwback. Right there. So let's go say hi to Charlie. Let's see. I'm trying to find an emote we can use for the raids. Let's go say hello. She has this emote called Jarly Bit Me, and I, I'm sure you can tell what it is if you use it in her channel. Let's see. That's that's the right message, okay? Let's go say hi to her. 
She's doing Elden Ring, like I said. Hopefully you'll have a great time with her. Appreciate you all hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place, for another stream. Thank you for everything. Bye. Take care.